Yo. Oh! Hey. Yeah, that was a rip. All right. We all knew it was coming. Trains. Trains. It's real hard to derail one. You want to know why? Glued to it. Glued right to the rails. If you don't make it go too fast, the glue don't come off, and then you don't derail. Glued right to it. Now, I'm going to be honest. When I was doing the tutorial for this game, this game, I did, uh... I did derail mine. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Uh, I didn't think I'd do it wrong. Uh, I accidentally floored it instead of made it chill, uh, which was fine because I was only, I was in a learning phase. It's like when you're at, you know, uh, driving school and you drive your car off of a bridge into a river. Like, oops, problems, mistakes happen. I only got a D-class D license. I can't be held accountable for my actions yet. Oops, oopsie, but hey, good news is, now I know what's going on, so we're going to be fine. Chat, no, 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 this game's ten times scarier than Choo Choo Charles, because in this game, you're held accountable for your actions. Chat, in Choo Choo Charles, you, you're just on a train, being chased by a train, but in this, you're held accountable for your actions. Which is, I would argue, the scariest thing a video game can do to you is tell you that you're being held accountable for your actions. Think about it. Apparently this game has hazmat disasters, so bear with me here. Uh, I'm going to try my hardest to not create an ecological catastrophe. I don't want that to be how this plays out today, but, um... If we can avoid it, we will. I don't want that to be what happens to me. You know you won't avoid it. I mean, I'm gonna be okay, I think. I think I'll be okay. Like, I'm gonna... I'm gonna be playing with, like... I'm gonna be playing with realistic settings on, which means apparently I'm going to be punished. I might only play with standard, actually. I don't know. I, I'm gonna decide once I see the settings. But I did do the tutorial. I know how to play the... I know how to do the basics. That said... As far as I'm concerned, the basics only really taught me how to make my train go forward or backward. And then, uh, turn the, uh, the rail to go left or right. Which, I'm pretty sure there's more to it. I I'm almost positive. I've seen trains. Seems like there's more than that. But according to the train manual, that's all I needed to know. And now I'm ready to... Now I'm ready to do my job. Nah, it's okay, chat. I've, uh, I've trained. All right. I've operated signal, uh, signal stations. I've operated submarines. I've, I've done all of these things. I'm, I'm good. I'll be okay. I know how to, I can handle a train. A train's like the easiest one. It can only go two ways. It can only go two ways. I've operated a nuclear reactor at maximum capacity. How the heck in heck am I going to lose to a train only goes two ways? You couldn't handle the reactor. Yeah, but neither could a train operator. Checkmate. <laughs> I got you. 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 You have nothing to say to that. Because you know now I'm right.
No robot helper this time. Why would I need one? Dude, it's just a train. It go back and forward. It just go back and forward. Boy Scouts can build reactors. Yeah, I mean, building it's the easy part. We all know this. It's not about building it that's the hard part. It's the freaking making it run. All you got to do to build a reactor is buy some activated uranium and then toss it in a little can with some water and shake it. Okay? We all know this. This isn't hard. It's easy. Pour some sparkling water in there. Bada bing. You've got yourself a reactor. How do you know that? Because I... Because anyone can do it. Because anyone can do it. You think I'm stupid? Okay, now fly a plane. Dude, I learned how to fly a plane in armor. Okay, I feel like I can fly 10 planes in a row all at the same time, actually. Yeah, I'll do it all at the same time. I know, I, I flew VTOL VR. I did. Chat, one thing we all know is that I was able to turn on the plane in VTOL and fly it. I actually did, I knew how to do that. Listen, chat. The difficult part of operating any motor vehicle of any classification isn't turning it on and making it go. It's adjusting to anything that isn't simply turning it on and making it go and making it stop again. That's the part that people get caught up on. But as long as none of that other stuff happens, I'm good. And as far as all of them, the safest one of all is a train. It only go two ways. That's safer than a car. Car go every way. It go forward, backward, and then faster forward, backward. Three if you derail. But that's not gonna happen. <laughs> that's not gonna happen to me. <laughs> Why would that happen to me? I, uh, dude, I'm not gonna. That's not gonna be what happens to me. I'm, I'm gonna be big and strong and brave. Dude, I'm telling you, it's way easier than a car. Why would he ever derail in Derail Valley? Chat, just because it said- Derail Valley is just the fucking buzzword they use to fucking make you think there's gonna be derails, okay? That's the buzzword they use. But like, I'll tell you what, I ain't seen no derails. I'm not- I'm looking at the Steam store page. It's not- Oh, that ain't gonna be me. No, that ain't gonna be me. That's not gonna be me. I have my sort of, I don't have, I mean, I, uh, guys, I don't need to do that. That's not derailing, that's exploding. <laughs> guys, that's not gonna be me because I'm not derailing or exploding, but those are both different things anyways. Derail is just a buzzword used to Drive up sales. Doesn't mean nothing to me. I ain't gonna be that guy. Just fear tactics used to keep people like me from getting our certification. I bet those fucking A-class license holders in the train union are fucking posting these to scare us. I remember you said before you were thinking of doing a blade in the blades in the dark stream like thing off stream. Any words on that? No, or I'd have words on it. 
The answer is usually when it comes to things like that, no, or else I would have had words on it already. That's how I live my life. This man says everything he thinks. Yeah, that's actually pretty much a fair way to think about it. So, odds are, if you're supposed to know something, you know it already. Or it was said, and you have to rewatch every intro to find the details you think might exist. Are you going to do any multi-track drifting today? I will not be using the brakes. I can tell you that because I'm not going to need them because I will be carefully managing my speed to the extent where brakes are not necessary. These are all things that I learned in train school and I will be showing you today. Did you know that if you throw a rock onto the rails in front of you while you're driving your train, you can jump tracks? I did it once in train school. Yup, you can hop to the next track. I don't need to change lines, all right? I use rock tech. $16 million kickflip. Yeah, my, my, the teacher was upset, but that's just because they hadn't been able to do it successfully once in their pathetic life. They gave me their license, which is how I have this job now. They cried. Jealousy is so disgusting. I know, right? I know, right? They need to get a fucking life. He's so mean. They said it couldn't be done. They doubted me every step of the way. Speaking of kickflips, when is the tech deck stream? You missed it. And by you missed it, I mean you missed the whole year. And so did I. The year of tech deck ended long ago. Wrong. You missed it. You missed it, fool. Sorry, I was reading something. I had to respond to something, it was urgent. And by urgent, I mean people updated me on me dying in a server. <laughs> I've been playing ARK with some of my friends, and uh, it's not been easy. And apparently my house just got eaten by elephants. <sighs> Why was I ever fooled into playing it at all? How could this happen to me? making Shane fix my house. He'll do it for me. He has no fucking choice. This dude hasn't turned, like, gotten off of the server in fucking, like, three days straight. Can't believe it. Oh, after, uh, d after the stream today, uh, I'm gonna be doing, uh, Session zero of a fun thing, fun D and D thing on Brett's channel, uh, that will no doubt be extremely punished. Uh, we're doing a hardcore 
like super difficult rule set pre-made like uh like upgraded like spin on one of the old like uh pre-made books for like adventures like mines of fan lost mines of fandelver i think Should be a good time. It's uh, me, Joe, Juni, and uh, Crown DM, who have not met, but I'm sure we'll get along. Should be a good time. Should be a good time. I'm excited. Yo, stop being cringe. I don't play that character anymore. <laughs> Leave me alone. Nor do I really like seeing them in my chat. Thanks for understanding. down the rest of the cold brew dude i'm actually not that fucking tired today i'm i'm, I'm gonna be i think i'm gonna be good this is gonna be i'm gonna be it's gonna be fine i'm gonna be we're not gonna derail this train chat i'm not sleepy what flavor just black coffee <laughs> just black cold brew coffee I gotta be dialed in today for the trains. I need to be wired. What class are you playing? I don't think anyone's picking classes. I think what's gonna happen, well, no one's picking them beforehand because we're rolling our stats. And um, there's no, there's no minimum average for stat values. So if you roll strength and you roll 3d6 and you get a three you have three strength so um no one's picking their classes before they find out what their stat array is because you're not you're also not able to pick which stat is your specialization you're picking you're doing it all in a row so you're rolling strength and you're rolling decks and then you're deciding what your class is based off of that i think it's 3d8 it might be 3d6 i don't remember it's probably 3d6 Probably 3d6. Hang on, let me pull up the rules. Yeah, it's 3d6. So yeah, no average, just the lowest thing you can roll. Uh, only player's handbook for it. No new stuff from other uh, books. Only player's handbook. It's we're gonna be fine, dude. We're gonna be fine, dude. We're gonna be fine, dude. Dude, I trained. Pathetic campaign. It's going to be pathetic campaign. One thing I can tell you for sure is that we're gonna get owned. Mariah art? Dude, Mariah's too busy working on 18 different art projects as well as my character for Sunforge. They do not have the time to draw a fucking character that is literally going to die in a half of a session. Are you kidding me? You gotta understand how much work goes into art. <laughs> we threw this campaign together in like a week. I'd sooner draw a Skagzak piece than fucking ask any artist to draw my character. I don't even know what I'm gonna play until after I've rolled it today. I literally don't know. What day is the D&D thing? Four and a half hours. 
or so. Why are you guys hawing? That's today. You guys know what that means, right? Four and a half hours is not a day? Yeah, because it's today. <laughs> are you guys good? <laughs> yeah, it's because it's today. No, it's today, which is what I'm telling you. Why would you do that? Dude, are you guys good? This isn't a me problem. <laughs> what day is it? In four and a half hours, today. I'm giving you the specifics because if I just said Saturday, you'd be like, oh, okay, next Saturday. Man, you guys are losing it. <laughs> you got. You could have said right after a stream today, but that wouldn't be specific enough for some people. And then they'd be like, well, what does that mean? Sometimes you only stream for two hours, streamer. You guys gotta come back to Earth. You guys gotta wake up. How are you gonna handle your certification on this train test if you don't even know what time it is? And what four and a half hours means? I freed you from all time zones. I gave you a specific. And you haunt me. And you haunt me! Baffling. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be all right. Sorry, tomato. I've been breathing too much train glue. Well, that's the thing is that train glue is, um, it's a very viscous, solid liquid mix. It's not really something you can just breathe. You're supposed to eat it. If you really want to get a rush, you have to eat it. You're gonna want to take some of this drain glue and shove it right down your throat. It's really good. It's really good. You're gonna want to slam some of that glue. When is Urge update? God, you guys are like addicted. I don't know. Like, I'm not gonna play Urge again until I see like actual fucking like updates that explain that I can go to Orlando. I literally won't play it again until then. Until then, I'm not playing it again. That's the rule. We're addicted because you promised? I've given you so many urge streams. You have had plenty. You've had plenty. What more could you ask for? Maybe even too many. You may have too much urge. As far as I'm concerned, you might have too much. But the urge, but nothing. So many? Three streams, you've done like 20 Noida streams. I've done f like five urge streams. Four or five. Okay, so you're off at least one. At least one. And how dare you freaking bring Noida into this? You love Noida. How dare you bring Noida into this? You freaking love Noida. You love, you made it so clear to me how much you love Noida.
You love Noida. Oh, yeah? I always just figured you guys loved it. That's why I was playing it. Because I hate Noida. Dude, I can barely stand Noida. I thought... Oh, do all of us show our hands? Who hates Noida? Wait a minute. Hang on. Do we all hate Noida? Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. We all hate... We all hate Noida. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Uh... Noida is okay. Dude, pick a fucking side! God damn it! Pick a side! The only one that's allowed to sit on this fence is me. Sometimes, but not right now. Right now, I'm not being a centrist. Right now, I'm taking a hard stance. I've decided that hate is the only path forward. Your crashing kinda sucked. Dude, that's that's like nothing. I saw someone in the Discord that was like, why does Tomato insist on using mods that crash his game? <laughs> it's like he just loves ruining the stream. And it was like my guy. I'm not doing it. It doesn't have a purpose. Like, I did test it. Like, I did test it. I can't control every single thing that happens on my stream. Sometimes stuff just breaks on stream. That's the unfortunate reality of mods. Why did he insist on making the stream bad? You deaf self-sabotage stuff, though. Buh. Example? In this context, give me an example of when I self-sabotaged a modded stream I did. <laughs> Examples. Provide them to me. They better be good. Crash now, and then you crash. Awfully sus. Wait a minute, maybe they write. Yeah, I mean, I've never, I can tell you right now, uh, I've never put together any kind of mod pack with the intention of, yeah, it's going to be the thing that ruins my, uh, stream. <laughs> yeah, and this is how I'll make my, make my exit when I leave the stream in shame. Oops. <laughs> well, like, there have been, like, goofs where it's been, like, a fucking 30-second bit, like, the first-person mod, but I'm not out here trying to ruin my own stream. It's, like, I'm trying to keep it fun. And I would argue that the crashes last night hardly fucking cost very much to the stream, considering Noida has a very solid restore point system. The only time that it ever actually bricked my save was when I was put into that anvil. That was it. I've never, ever self-sabotaged my stream in such a way that I would consider it actual sabotage. <laughs> That's wild. That's wild. Sounds like something a self-sabotager would say. True. Sounds like an out I would use to cover up my self-sabotage. <laughs> 
sorry, I'm still, I'm still getting up. I just got this horrible picture of, Shane took a picture of me getting killed by elephants instead of saving me from getting killed by elephants. <laughs> this fucking dude is so addicted to babysitting baby dinosaurs in Ark that he took a picture of me getting killed instead of, instead of helping me. <laughs> what is this, dude? This was image. This was moments before they stampeded through my house and off a cliff. There was a cave that I almost moved into, and then everyone was like, "If you move there, I'll never hang out with you." And I was like, "Okay, I'll live on the cliff with all of you." And then elephants killed me. Cool house, though. Yeah, it was cool. It took me like three hours because I kept running into weird bugs and crashing. And then elephants trampled my home. It would make anyone go crazy, dude. I'm cool. Good news is I fundamentally don't have time to go onto that server to fix it today. So I'll just forget about it and come back tomorrow with a fresh mind. Oh, it's kind of beautiful how that plays out. Calm down, cave dweller. You'll see. You'll all see. Hang on. <laughs> I'm like, I'm getting like live. This, this is like if you're like on like, like I'm, <laughs> I'm getting fucking live updates of like the horrible accident that burned my house down. And I'm like, I, I have to play it cool. Like looking at my phone as like I get a fucking text that's like, all your pets are dead. <laughs> Be cool, but all your pets are dead. It's like that fucking key and peel skit. Like, I'm over here fucking looking at my phone while, like, Shane texts me and says, Everything you know is gone. Keep dancing. Be cool. Keep dancing. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Everything's fine. He's crying inside. It's so hard. Listen, I can say I'm cool as much as I want, but it would only take one silly little message that pisses me off right now to smash this fucking bottle I have next to me onto my table and make a big mistake. Not because I'm angry, but because I think it'd be funny to escalate. I think that would make me feel better until I like accidentally realize that I fucking shattered glass all over the place because this isn't like a funny bottle that you can just break. Dude, I gotta get myself some prop smashing bottles. I really do. I gotta get myself some of those like fucking Foley, like smashing bottles. Like the sugar glass. I've thought about it. I have. Sugar glass, attract the ants. Let them all fight. <laughs> I just can't believe he fucking sent me this dude. <laughs> Help me! Help me! It's fine. Genuine reaction. I'm gonna fucking extinct the elephants again. All the mammoths will die. I will kill them all. This is my... <laughs> this is me walking down a dark path. It's fine. Everything's fine. Because I'm gonna be, cause chat, I'm free right now. I don't have to, I don't have to think about that. I, all I have to think about is my certification. Cause everyone knows, 
it's super, super safe for someone with, you know, like massive mental baggage and a lot of like turmoil in their soul to drive heavy equipment. This is actually probably good. I can really, I can really channel this, this energy I have now into my craft. I'm going to be 10 times faster than any other train operator because I'm not going to be using the brakes as much because I'm going to say, well, if I derail, whatever, <laughs> whatever, everything's cool. Powered by hate. Chat, I have a question about this game that I didn't actually get to check. Are there like other trains on these rails or am I like... Or is it just me? Because it's okay if it's just me. No. Okay, that's probably good. Because if it was just me, okay, I'm solo. Good, that won't stop me from derailing, but I just wanted to know if I was gonna have like a situation where I had someone like very visibly approaching my rail and I was gonna run out of space. It's fine. He admits he will derail. I, I mean, um, no, I'm not. I mean, not intention. I mean, no, only intentionally as a result of me doing the rock skip where I throw a rock under the rail and jump rails. I'm only gonna derail so I can re-rail onto the next rail I need to go to think about. You know, I'm going to drift the train. <laughs> I unironically, I think did drift the train while doing the tutorial. I think I did. I mean, I'm gonna, I might redo the tutorial. No, I'm not. Fuck that, dude. I'm gonna teach all of you how a train works in real time. You guys don't have to worry about a thing. I'm gonna teach you all of it. Is this legal? Oh, yeah. Dude, I have a license. I got given it by walk- actually, all it took for me to get my license was, like, prove that I could turn the train on and make it go forward and backward, which I think is all I need. I'm basically certified. I can't wait for him to explode the engine after pushing it too far. Dude. Just pour water on it. And then keep pushing. It's gonna- die. It's fine. It's fine. I'm actually like, dude, I'm excited to play this. I'm super excited for D&D. &D. I can't wait to roll four threes in a row. Did I ever tell you guys that when I re-rolled Adelward on Godforge, I rolled in front of Joe like seven ones in a row while re-rolling my hit die and stats. And he had to, in the middle of me rolling, be like, we can give you buffs. It's okay. As I'm like getting angrier and angrier as I keep rolling ones on roll 20. Like I, I am going to have a trash boy. Like this is going to be bad. Tonight's going to be bad for me, which is good. I've never had a DM act like so fucking confident that like we were like going to have a good time re-rolling my character for a new class and then slowly lose all strength as he realizes that he's killing my character. <laughs> that, that was like that was a dark moment for me it was when my character almost lost like 50 HP <laughs> on a reroll mm. First time I re I rolled, my rolls were so bad that my DM took so much pain. Look, here's the thing: is if everyone has bad rolls, it's funny. If one person's a fucking idiot, it's sad. You know what I mean? I think it'll be okay with this hardcore run because it's meant to. I like if I'm gonna if I'm gonna be a weak little pathetic idiot, I'm gonna rock it. I'm gonna be letting people know every time we go into a dungeon that I'm gonna let them down. <laughs> I'm gonna be like just grabbing people. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like actually tell them I'm gonna let you down, dude. I'm gonna let you down. Don't look at me to help you. I'm gonna let you down. I swear. I can't trust me to save you. I can't wait. I'm just gonna do hardcore pathetic RP. 
pathetic idiot RP, I'm gonna be like the guy who actually doesn't know what's going on. If I get bad rolls, if I get good rolls, well, I don't know then. Kinda depends. So just normal you then. Katie, relax! Ah! Juna! Look at what I am going through right now. I need support. Why do I still have that open on another monitor? I can't be healthy. When have I ever supported you? That is the most wild thing I've ever seen. <laughs> ah! It's true, but it fucking hurts. Ah! Ow! Let's be honest. True, but it goes both ways, right? We coexist through a firm, constant, just lack of support. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Oh, God. I keep on realizing, this is like the thing about these like simulator games. I always fucking clock after 40 minutes of intro that one day I'm gonna have to turn on the game and consult the reality that I am much less prepared to play it than I initially believed when I turned on the stream that day. This happens every time. And as we near closer, I'm starting to tug at my collar. Then don't? No, I must. I, 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 I have to. <laughs> I have to. You're like those friends that had the conversation, I want to be at our funeral so I can let you down one last time. Dude, I, I'm not gonna... Listen, alright? I'll tell you one thing about D&D, okay? Even if my stats are bad, I can save lives, alright? I'm a good... Let's be real about something. Across all of my D&D characters, even when I'm in the melee, I'm usually like, I'm usually like really fucking healthy. I'm good at, I'm good at staying out of the line of fire. That or my DMs choose not to aim at me because they think like I'll cry. Willoughby got so fucked up with 80 damage. That was, ac dude, actually, like, I don't know what the fuck, like, I I'm actually still thinking about that. The 80 damage I took running away from a fucking ancient dragon tier hydra with a no disengage. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Literally, like, when it happened, when I started to run away, I was like, this thing can't reach me, even though of course it fucking could. It's a dragon. It's a fucking hydra. Like, it, of course it was going to be able to reach me. I like, even Joe was like, you're not going to disengage. And I was like, no, no. <laughs> I was, dude, the worst part was it's all on webcam. And there was, to I bet 100%, you can see the moment my fucking soul left my body when he said, he nat 20 twice on you. <laughs> Dude, I played it cool, but I had three HP. I almost actually carded my character in the first turn of the fight. I played it super cool because my character has insane healing, but I actually got taken down from 80 to three in one move. I didn't think it was that bad. You always have to play it cool, all right? I never, I never give the specifics of my HP when it happens because I'm always like, you know, you don't want your DM to know because then they're going to pull a punch or they'll like, you know, it'll freak out the rest of the party and they'll like do weird stuff. So whenever I do like the fucking campaign sessions with Joe, it's always a uh, like couple turns later, I'll be like, I have five health and I have for the last 20 minutes. But when I'm the healer, it's like, no one's going to help me. <laughs> I have to help myself. Which is what I did when I healed myself for like 50 HP literally the same turn.
Will this train stream be as toxic as the last one? Who could say? Who could say? You know, I can actually break down the exact thought process in my head when I ran away from that Hydra that led to me looking so stupid. And it was... I can... You know what? I actually think I have the exact thing that happened. Everyone in that party, up until that point, had been acting like I should be a tank. And whenever I run away, they're like, you need to get in there. You have the most AC and you're tanky. Because they're not wrong. My character has like pretty high AC for a druid and a lot of HP. So I was like, I can take it. I've been conditioned to believe I'm invincible by my team constantly saying I should be in there fighting. So here I go. <laughs> Never again! Hyped up to fail! I almost fell over like a sack of bricks in two hits! What are you kidding me? I got gaslit into tanking! <laughs> it wasn't even tanking, I was running! It's cool. I don't know what I- I gotta decide what I'm gonna actually do, like, depending on my stat roll today. Cause I'm not gonna- I- we only have a fucking- I mean, look, here's what I do, right? Like, if I get, like, a strength character, I fucking roll a champion. I, what level do we start? I don't even know what level we're starting at for Brett's thing. What level are we starting at? Like, actually check. Uh, I don't think it says. I'm gonna guess we're not starting at level three. I'm gonna guess we're starting at level one, knowing it's a hardcore thing. So, uh... Boy, oh boy, warlocks are gonna be spicy. Same with sorcerers. Whoever gets charisma is gonna be eaten well. Same with clerics. A little earlier. I don't think fighters are worth doing. I feel like you just go barbarian. Hippie peace cleric? Peace cleric isn't in the original handbook. Chat. For this hardcore thing, we're not allowed to do anything that isn't in player's handbook, and to my knowledge, peace is not player's handbook. Only base game. Monk main? Yeah, let's play it. Dude, you couldn't catch me in a million years playing a fucking monk. Let me tell you what the best class is gonna be for this. Stats? Uninvolved. Wizard. Warlock? Uh... I don't know, Barbarian. Uh, three Barbarians. <laughs> Paladin? Nah. Bard, maybe. Chat, you gotta remember that any class that has proficiency bonus skills are gonna be way weaker in the grand scheme because they have to fucking still, like, raid- they, they don't have that much of it yet. Stuff that's gonna ha stuff that's based off of like modifier, like their actual modifier for their stats or like their uh, resources, gonna be better off early game for this, because we're not gonna get very high level. Like I I'll tell you what, chat. Rolling high or no, I'm gonna fucking gamer the hell out of this session, dude. I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna find some some numbers and put it together. Is Moon Druid base handbook? It's gotta be right. Although, I mean, I wouldn't want to fucking play Moon Druid. Although it would be strong. Yeah, Moon Druid is player's handbook. And would probably be very good if you get to level two. <laughs> if you get there! He banned Druid. He said he's reworking it, which is fair because Druid is absolutely the strongest early game class. I can tell you that, having played one at early game. Uh, I never felt more powerful. I talked so much shit about Druid, and then I played Willoughby. And then I realized I had been talking like an actual jackass the entire time because it turned out Druids are actually fucking broken. At early game, their spells that only Druids get are so just ridiculous. You were always talking like a jackass, though. <sighs> Level 2 monk can already jump from a street onto a two-story building easy-peasy, and that sort of movement just isn't very helpful. Uh, 
in most of the time in combat. Yeah, here's the thing. Genuinely. And this isn't a knock on any specific DM style. I'm just going to say it how it is. I think Monk benefits more from a theater of the mind setting. Because when you have a map, there's a certain level of like, oh, that's just how it is. So a monk's movement and all that shit is way more fucking restrained by just like, oh, this is a map that was intended for all. Like, it, it's already here. It's already in front of you. I think monk is a lot better in a in a uh, theater of the mind setting where the DM can fucking like actually play along properly with the monk's insane shit without having to have maps that accommodate the monk's insane shit. That said, I'd never play a monk anyways, because they're, uh, not really for me. There's never been a class for monk that's really grabbed me. Tomato, please address the bear in the room. I am not talking about the Baldur's Gate bear sex scene. I will not fucking do it. I can't. I can't, chat. It's on my mind. Listen here, okay? I'm only gonna say this once. I can't. I can't. I can't and I won't. All right, though I am glad the game's releasing a month early because boy oh boy. I am excited to play it, barring the bear sex scene. <laughs> barring the horrible, horrible scene. I am... I have not played any of Baldur's Gate 3 at all. I never really... I think I own the game. I bought it when it released in early access, but, uh... Let's see here. It says here I played yeah, like an hour. So pretty excited to play it once it's all done. I like turned it on and was like, ah, I'm going to enjoy this a lot more when there's like less bugs and like I can actually like make a cohesive build. I don't know. It's like that kind of game that I'll disappear for like a fucking week on stream to play. Like actually fucking straight up drop off the play. Like the face here actually i was talking to joe and i don't know if we're gonna actually do this i would love to i was talking to joe we might do a hardcore permadeath playthrough i was talking to joe about it as like a thing to do i think it would be fun to instead of plan on playing through the game in its entirety we'll go in with some psycho rule set inevitably die but have some fun doing it and like we'll be done in like a session or two and we won't have to like play through the whole game because I don't think that's very good for anyone's stream to play through the entirety of Baldur's Gate. Hardest difficulty, permadeath, easy. So a 15 minute playthrough? Dude. There's a lot of ways to fucking, I mean, hell, I could have permadeathed fucking Divinity 2 any day of the week without much of a problem. There's a lot of ways to cheese those games. And especially with it using D&D rule sets, there's even more ways to cheese those games. I got really good at the at Divinity. Though obviously Divinity is not Baldur's Gate. It's still it's still a Larian game, which means it's got like 80 different fucking stupid, really specific ways you can just like pick up an item and throw it at someone's head and it somehow instantly kills them. Cause they just let you do that shit. So I bet, I bet it wouldn't be too bad. Instant death crate build is real in Divinity 2. Yeah, I mean, like, nothing. I feel like there's a big group of people here that played Divinity 2 and found one fucking death fog barrel and was like, I'm gonna use this to instantly kill a boss someday, and then they did. And it's like, the fact that the game lets you do that is fucking awesome, and like, that's good game design. That you can like, find something like a, like a barrel of death fog and be like, let's save this for a rainy day. 
when something pisses me off enough to actually pull out the fucking, like, Moab. <laughs> and that's cool. I, I think that shit's awesome. Dude, the amount of times I throw a barrel at someone, a huge fucking barrel or a bucket that was full of an insane amount of items and just crack every bone in their body and then laugh at them when they died instantly. Many. Many. Okay, Donkey Kong. We can't do this! Dude, I'm still reeling from my loss. From the loss of my home to elephants. How dare you? How fucking dare you? Leave me alone now. You need to leave me alone. I need peace. Please. He has a style. Derivative, derivative, derivative. I point at all of you. Derivative. How many times are you gonna make the same joke? <laughs> derivative. Bro, I, I'm just sat here, what the fuck? All I can do in the face of such opposition is yell derivative and point at individual names on my monitor. <laughs> That's all I can do. That's all I can do to defend myself is point at literal, like just names at a monitor and go derivative. Seen that one before. He can't even spell it. I know how to spell derivative. Also, I'm not going to because everyone will just say that I know how, like I copied it from the chat because about five people have spelt it correctly and about seven people have spelt it incorrectly. <laughs> Which is fun. It is fun that in the process of people going, he can't even spell it, I was like, how many of them know how to spell it? And like half, literally half of the derivatives in the chat were wrong. <laughs> uh, spell check? Uh, um, spell check, perhaps? Dirigible. <laughs> Dirigible. Chat, Twitch has spell check. What the fuck? It says a chat member. I don't know if that's true. Kite Rima, thank you for the five gifted subs. Not if you disable it. Dude, I have that for my phone. Because my phone always does this obnoxious shit where it spell checks me so hard that it like actually undoes what I'm trying to say in Discord or like text. Because it's like, oh, you're try you're talking in like phone speak when you should be talking in English, motherfucker. And then it like changes half of what I'm trying to say to like actual real words. And then it like, I have to undo it and like fucking reconfirm it. So eventually I was just like, whatever I say now will look like gibberish, but at least it will be my own. And now all I say when I type on my phone is, and it's, but it's mine. It's my words. Those are my words. That's my beautiful language. I just, when people say, hey man, you gonna be here soon? I go, I speak in an ancient tongue. A language none of them can understand. Speaking using your true IQ. Dude, come on. 
Do you swipe to text? No, that seems blasphemous. There's something wrong about that, dude. Only old people do that. True, my dad does that. My dad does a mix between swipe to text and just telling his phone what to say. I do that? Well, sorry, you're old. <laughs> sorry, man. You're old. Can we all agree that voice messages have to go? I don't hate voice messages. Look, sometimes, like, I'm talking to someone on, like, Discord or something, and it is wildly more convenient to me to, like, send an MP3 of what I'm saying to them, because if I try to type it, I'm gonna overthink the hell out of it, and on at the same time, the way I'm saying it is going to be misconstrued or misunderstood. Try it when... I got like hyper professional speak when I like type certain things to people and at a certain point it's easy just to be like hi uh this is what I'm thinking and like here it is and like here it is in, like a 30 second message that's just like posted you can press play on it and it saves me like four minutes of trying to format in a way that doesn't make me look like a like a corporate suit I don't do it a lot but I don't hate it but if you're talking about like voicemail, like leaving phone calls for people, yeah, we can make that emails. Yeah, that could be emails or texts. I mean, I don't call people on my phone. Ever. The curse of being a paragraph typer. Some people feel content typing a sentence and feeling like their thoughts were conveyed properly. Other people are like me and feel like if they don't really let the other person peek into their brain via a beautifully composed novella, then they haven't done enough and they might hate me at the end because they won't understand the context of what I was saying and they'll think I'm like awful. I need you to peek into my world so you understand what I'm saying. And then the other person after that will be like, okay. <laughs> That'll be their, their response will be, all right, sure. <laughs> okay, lol. No, that would, uh, that would, um, that would, that would, that would break me. If I sent like a fucking paragraph message to someone and they responded with, okay, lol, I'd be like, oh, they're dead to me. Oh, that's it. Wait, hang on. Wait, hang on. Hang on. Wait, hang on. That They're dead to me. <laughs> I, I'm, a, a massive weight has been taken off my shoulders. <laughs> that's a haunting. That's a, that's a warlock's curse right there. Dearest Tomato, I'm thrilled and eagerly looking forward to your upcoming train stream. Your engaging content and passion for trains have captivated my interest, and I can't wait to be part of this extraordinary event. Thank you for your dedication and the exciting experiences you bring to your viewers. All right. Thanks. Real chat GPT moment. <laughs> no, guys, people can write that. And like, people have been conditioned to believe that you can't write that in about thirty seconds, or like twenty seconds, or five seconds, dude. Like that wasn't you. That, that you don't need AI to do that. You can do that in like five seconds. Dearest chat member, I appreciate the vim you've shown me in your message, the excitement and energy you have for this stream is giving me the power to carry on and earn my certification. I hope you find joy in this stream just as I hopefully will. Godspeed and God bless.
<laughs> nah, dude. Are we bringing Vim back? Vim's a good word. Vim is one of those words, though, that if someone uses, you're like, you look that up in a thesaurus, you fucking jackass. Holy shit. Put that in your goddamn AP English essay, you dork. What did you just say? Vim is a word to get to 500 words. <laughs> oh, to like fucking finish your like 500 word essay for like maybe like 30 words short and just crack your back and be like, Either I can inject a new sentence that means nothing, or I can add one word to every sentence. Remo I just remove all contractions? Oh, yeah. Dude, look, here's the thing. Unless you're sending your goddamn teacher a literal, like document on a like email there's not <laughs> the amount of times they told me to do like a thousand word essay in english class and i'd give them like a 900 and like 50 word and not even care because they're not cat no one counts holy shit if they count i'd laugh at them i would start laughing at them when i got my report back and it had like a b minus because i didn't fill all the words i start laughing i'd start laughing like a psycho I'd start actually going cuckoo crazy. I'd go, really? Really? I'd go crazy. Okay, teacher, count again. I'd tell that to them. I'd say that to their face. I'd say, count again. You should, you must have miscounted. You should count again. Recount, recount it. And then if they got something close to the same spot again, I'd ask them to count again. <laughs> count one more time. You must, you must have missed something. And then the third time, I start counting with them, but I'd get the count wrong. I start counting incorrectly. And slowly but surely, I'd make them go insane. Actual gaslighting. If a teacher is out there counting manually the goddamn words on the page, they've lost it. They got too much time on their hands. I'm doing them a favor. How do you know if your computer can count? Have you checked? Have you checked manually to be sure that the computer isn't counting wrong? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Teach, I guess we're gonna have to go into the code. Do you mind if we crack into the code of this PC and really figure out if it even knows how to count? We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to break into the code. I gotta get into that binary. Do you mind if I open up the registry of the PC just to make sure it can count? I don't need your administrative password. He's entering the science is fake arc. We were, we were, what the fuck what happened last night? We were, while we were playing arc, freaking bed started streaming this video about evolution. Like this insane psycho shit as like a joke. But there was a screenshot from it that was so funny, and I don't think anyone grabbed it. Nor did Bed link it. So it's gone. And it just it was trying to explain 
how evolution can't be possible because it's silly to believe that an Etch-A-Sketch could evolve to an iPad. So it showed an Etch-A-Sketch on one side of a PowerPoint and an iPad on the other, and then it showed an iPad and an Etch-A-Sketch photoshopped together. And it was the craziest shit I've ever seen. And they were like, this is evolution, huh? Doesn't make much sense to me. Didn't see any of those around. And I'm like, yeah, cause, cause that was built by people. Those things aren't, Etch-A-Sketches weren't made by the same people that made iPads. <laughs> and then they had another one that was like, a scooter is the forefather of the motorcycle. And it showed like the arrows with like the fucking common link between scooter and motorcycle. So it went like scooter, tricycle, bike, motorcycle. And I'm like, this is nothing. <laughs> like this dude is getting like a standing ovation in this fucking like this meeting room explaining this like insane shit. <laughs> While his actual images on his PowerPoint are like memes that he made that make him look like he's lost his mind. It was wild. I need this video. I. It wasn't linked, Bed was like streaming it, so there's no way to like get it. Although, Bed did say that if I ever need dinosaur facts, I can call upon him and he'll reply instantly. So I may test that at some point. He, he swore to me, I had him swear to me, that if I ever needed dinosaur facts, he would be there. Test it now? No, I wanna make sure I do it when he's deeply inconvenienced by it. Because then I'll then it'll actually test how much he actually meant it. If I don't do it when he's gonna be inconvenienced, what the fuck is the point? You know. Gotta make sure I do it right. Come on. That's some hardcore hater energy. What can I say? What can I fucking say? Dude, I have to play this game. Chad, I have to play the game. I have to play the game. I have to play the game. It's been an hour and 18 minutes. I have to play the game. I have to play the game. I forgot to play the game. I forgot to play the game! <laughs> I'm gonna go to the bathroom, then we're gonna play the game. Beer me! It's time. It's finally time. Trains. Anyone can drive one. They go straight and they go back. And that's pretty much all there is to it. They go, they do those two things and then they're done. Mm-hmm. Is that true? Yup. See that right there? Go straight, go back. Boom, 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 boom. See that? Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Yep, that's a train. I have to start a new career. Whoa! Damn.
Now, I don't think I need the tutorial because I did learn how to play already, which means I don't need to walk you through all of the bullshit a second time. I can just do it really fast without teaching you all basic controls that you don't need to know. Now, the question is, what difficulty do I want? Wait a minute. A driving UI. So realistic, I'm gonna lose the ability to remote switching through comms, okay? Remote coupling off. Don't need that anyways, I'm gonna do that manually. Okay, I want this to be realistic. Multi-servicing, okay. Keyboard driving, I don't want that. I wanna do this all by hand. External view, why the fuck would I want that anyways? Driving UI. Uh, don't need that. Remote sign reading, don't need that. Dude, realistic is just what I wanted. Yeah, no, this is great. Realistic is exactly what I want. Yeah. I don't want all those UI elements in my way. They're just gonna... They're just gonna distract me. All right, chat. We are starting our brand new job as a certified rail uh, guy. We're not, don't worry chat, we're not gonna derail. That doesn't actually happen to people unless they don't know what they're doing. Okay, but I do. I'm a certified rail worker. That ain't, that's not gonna be me. That's not gonna be me. That's not gonna be, that's not gonna be me. That doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. How could that even happen? That's not gonna be me. Why is it showing me that? That's not gonna be. When you're ready, you can get your first delivery order here. Find one you are licensed for and insert it to the order validator. Well, let's all slow down a second now. I'm on my own, I can figure out what I'm doing. Let's all just calm down. What's this? Okay, I can sleep in this bed if I need to sleep. Wear a train. I do not know. I think there's a train over there. Maybe. I was gonna think about that after I've gotten my license all sorted out. Okay, so I've got a radio. I can use this to switch lines. Let me see what else I have here. World map. Easy, dude. See this? Where am I? Eh. Wait. Am I here? I think I'm right there. I think this is my house. Okay, well that's cool. Uh, I'm not gonna fast travel there. Apparently I can fast travel anywhere, it just costs me money. I'm at the steel mill right now. I know that because that's where the tutorial ended. So I'm pretty sure I'm at this steel mill right now. Uh, let's see here, close the map. Uh, what else we have here? Station map, ah yes. Now this is gonna tell me where the hell I am. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. What the fuck is this shit? Close that. Close that. How much money do I have? $2,000. Not bad. Where am I? Yep. That's north. Take it to the bank. Okay, so... Let's go find a train after I grab a job. What the fuck is all that noise? Must be the steel mill. Whoa. Oh. oh yeah, you can teleport in this game to move faster. Although, it looks like in a realistic difficulty, my teleport reach is a cool five feet, if I'm lucky. In uh, the base game, with normal stuff, it's much farther. There's not even any water at this station. Mother of God. We're totally on our own out here, chat. All right, let's find a job I have clearance for. How do I know what my license is? Hang on, career manager, fees. I have no fees, good. Do I have any licenses? Let me go check. I, ha I am licensed, okay, to drive trains, haul freight, and uh, I'm licensed to operate DE2 vehicles. That's about it. I do not have licenses to handle any hazmat tier materials or military materials. Or to handle a train that's very long. 
or to have more than one job at a time. Should I print my license? So if any cops pull me over, I can show them that I'm actually allowed to drive this train. Okay. Yo! Easy, dude. We got our license. Huge. Cool, cool, cool. We got a license. We printed it like it was nothing. Okay, so what am I allowed to carry around? Okay, so... Logistical haul. Uh, let's see here. Time bonus going to take 69 minutes or so. Uh, I don't have... I don't have a long two license. I don't think I'm allowed to do that one. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put that one back down. I need one that's uh, for my license. LH. Logistical hall. LH? I have an LH license. Hang on, I have to check this. Logistical hall. No, I don't. Hi, um, hi. What licenses do I have? What can I take? I don't have SH. I can do FH. Freight hall. Freight hall. Do I have long one? Fuck. No. Hi, there's no jobs for me. Wait. No, that's logistical hall. Dude. Hi, what do you do if there's no jobs for you at the job store? Wait. Yo! I found one! It was underneath all the other papers because no one wanted it. This one's for me. Freight hall. We've got to deliver... We've got to take this, this steel from the steel mill to the harbor in town. Yep. I'm going to validate that order. That's mine. Yep, freight hall. Okay, so, uh, okay, step one, we got a couple. Oh my god. Uh, Chad, I gotta tell you something, honestly. Game didn't fucking teach me shit about doing all this. It just handed me, it, t it taught me how to control a train. It didn't really teach me how to do any of this part, so, uh, let's see here. Uh, step one, I gotta call, I gotta go find a SM station, the B20 track. Uh, for CFF 215, CFF 754, and CFF 732. I gotta learn on the job. So, we're, I know I'm at... I know I'm at Steel Mill, which is this one. So, if I'm here at the little house, which we see right there, the house at the top, right there, then where the hell am I going? SM Station B20 track. Which one of these is B20 track? Check <laughs> none of these say that. None of these say that. Wait, 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 wait. I'm missing something. What? Uh, I'm delivering steel rails. It can't be hard to fucking see some steel rails, right? That's steel rails, right? Right there? That's... This is, this is the... Oh wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, we got signs. B10, B20. Alright. These must be my rails. Right here. This must be my line. So I gotta get on this line with a train. Yep, right here's my, right here's my load. Mm-hmm. Yep. This is... These three right here, this is my rail. My load. All coupled up and ready for me to take them as soon as I find a train to borrow. Because I don't own one. Gonna have to pick one up from the train depot. Which is, uh, specifically, let me pull up my station map here. The maintenance station to the, uh, south. I think I gotta get a train from there. So, good news is, that shouldn't be too hard. We know where we're going. Now, the question is, am I going southwest or northeast? <clears throat> Chad, it does not say. <laughs> Hang 
hang on. I can figure this out by finding where the harbor and town is on the world map. <clears throat> is that the harbor and town? Is HB harbor and town. There we go. So we want to go south. We want to go southeast. Yes. Which means we want to approach the rail this way. Okay, so we want to approach it from this side. Is that even possible? <laughs> Chad, we just have to get really good at understanding. No. Okay, the only option we have is going northeast. So our route of approach to the harbor is... I don't even think there's a way to turn the train around there. I don't even think there's a way to turn the train around over there. We'll figure it out once we find a train, all right? right? Let's. We need to find a train before we even worry about taking anything. Chat, I'm begging you. Let me figure it out. Some of you are already like, you can do this. You can do that. Stop doing this. Stop doing that. Like, let me figure it out. <laughs> I'm begging you. Let me figure it out myself. I'll figure it out. Just gotta go pick up my train first. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. There's my train. There it is. I know how I'm going to do this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I do not have a license to drive this train. <laughs> wow, but if I could drive this train, I bet it'd be really cool. Dang, this train's got... This train's got doors and shit. Damn, man. Too bad I'm not allowed to go up there. I'm not even allowed to... I'm not even allowed to go in it. Well, hang on. I'm gonna hook this train up to the line and get it in. I'm actually gonna save. What? Only a single save file at a time is allowed. That's fine. I only need the one. I only need the one. I just need the one so I know that I don't instantly ruin my entire game by derailing this poor thing, because I know I'm gonna. Mm-hmm. Overshot it. Hang on. Easy now. There it is. Now that's perfectly aligned, I think. Gonna have to adjust that a little bit more. Mm hmm. Was that. Well, okay, there we go. That. I believe that was the sound of something clicking into place perfectly. There it is, and there it is. That's connected, and there it is. All right, let's get on. Jesus, hang on. Settings. Field of view 50? I thought something was wrong. Oh, wait, no, that's like, that's not a true 90. That's gotta be like vertical 50. Hang on. This feels good. That was, like, definitely vertical 50. This feels good. Maybe a little bit less. Maybe, maybe, like, 65. There we go. This feels good. Now I can actually see. Okay. All right. Welcome to my battle station, chat. Right now, there's no power. I gotta turn on the electrics and the starter and the TM. And now, let's get this bad boy rolling. 
Now, let's get this bad boy rolling. And now, I'm gonna let this juice up. And then, once the juice is flowing, it's time to move this this old pile of junk forward onto the turntable without derailing it onto that warehouse, specifically. Brakes, good. Handbrake, off. Throttle. On. Easy there, easy there, easy there! Whoa there, whoa there! Whoa there! Easy now. Whoa. You stay right there now. I gotta turn you onto the real rails or you're gonna crash. All right. This is going to be so fucked. Not yet, it's gonna be fine. I just need to confirm that I can do something. Whoa. Hang on, how much- does this thing come with fuel? I'm gonna have to check that. I don't wanna leave before I fuel up the car. I mean, train. I don't wanna leave until I'm sure the train's fueled up. You know, like, what if- What if the worst happened? Okay, it's full. So, I'm gonna pull it off of this. Whoa, there now! Full of sand? Oh well, yeah, it needs sand. How do you think it stops from, uh, how do you think it, like, increases its traction? I needed to reverse this, didn't I? Stop! Hang on, I need to, I need to chart out, I needed to reverse this out here. Because what I need to do, chat. Okay, follow me here, follow me here, follow me here, follow me here. I'm just gonna stop this for a minute, because I need to actually get out of the train to chart out where I'm do what I'm doing, because I don't know the layout of this place very well. Hang on. Having some fun with it. Okay, hang on. Uh, cut the fuel line. I'm gonna turn this all off for a second. So, chat, what I need to do is, I want to be going that way when I leave. Uh, I need to get my train on that side so I can couple it from that side, which means I need to, uh, chart a clear path through all this. I think this line's clear. No, that's a dead end. There's gotta be a line here that I can use to get by all this crap. So that I can actually get onto what I need to. Right? It totally has to be. There's gotta be a clip. Bingo, baby! We just gotta get onto this line. And this one's totally unoccupied. We gotta reverse the train. Onto this line. Align it with this lane. Go past that. Double back. Connect it from there on the other side. And then we're smooth sailing. Let's get this set up. I have to get back on the turntable though. I need to rotate it properly. Easy. All of this is easy. Don't worry, we're gonna get on the- we're gonna get on the road. This ain't- this is the only part of the entire train that doesn't have a door. Give me a second, I gotta rotate all around. Yep. Why is he instant transmissioning? Uh, F lets you teleport, because this is also a VR game. I just didn't want to do it in VR because I felt like I'd get incredibly sweaty. Uh... But that you are intended to use the teleport every once in a while to, like, get onto things. Okay, so, I need to turn the train around, I actually need to take it back to the turntable. And then rotate it. To do all this. So, uh, let's get it back on. Good news is, brake's still juiced. So we're just gonna set it to reverse. Throttle it up. Realize the handbrake is on. Undo the handbrake. And we're cooking with gas. 
A little fast. A little fast. Going a little fast. But it's okay. We're gonna gl glide right in there. A little fast. Break! 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 That wasn't the sound of us uh, derailing. Oh no! Let's <laughs> consider discarding this to the trash. It's okay. It's still going backwards. I can make it go forwards. I can fix this. Come on, you can do it! Easy. Easy. It's almost re-railed. It did it. Why did it just explode? That means it's working. That means it's getting big and strong. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Rerail switch clear. There is no trash. There is no trash. There is no trash. Hang on. This is what lo this is what What the fuck is this auto safe? Fuck what the Auto safe. You're working against me. I need you to stop. <laughs> Here's what we do, chat. We do a clean reset. No one ever has to know about the first career my character had. That didn't happen. It never happened. It, ne it was all a dream. A horrible dream. It never really happened. Boom. Boom. Nobody needs to know about career number one. Wait, what the heck? Oh, okay. So I was getting like ats from Brett for the D&D thing on like the fucking private thing three hours early. I didn't know if I like got my time wrong. No, no. That's at 8 p.m. He said. He said himself. Don't know what's going on. But it don't concern me. Okay. I'm getting this job done. <laughs> Which one of these is mine? Bingo. Pay me $12,000 at the end of this as soon as I get the job done right. Okay, chat, this time we do this by the books. Gotta get this off the B60 track, which is easy now. I already know which one that is. Okay, which track is the clear one that lets me get past all this shit? That's the B60. We gotta go past on this one. Okay. Same as last time. Middle track is clear. We pass through. It's raining. A beautiful rainy day. That can't matter. That's gonna be fine. This time, we cook for real. Damn, that train old. Yo, what's up, Thomas, you old crusty fuck? Look at you. Pathetic. Dude, imagine driving that. I don't think I'd be able to do that. I'm gonna stick to my baby train. All right. We know how to do this now. Nice and easy. The fuck is that new guy doing? There he goes. All right. 
We gotta reverse it. I know the angle now. Handbrake, off. Electrics, on. Starters, on. Juice, charging. Sand, full. Fuel, full. Oil, full. Cap fan, cooling me. Forward, and accelerate. Slowly now. Easy, 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 easy. Break, 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 break. All right. Save the game. Save the game. Save the game. Get out of train. Dog shit breaks, lol. Yeah, famously, trains don't really stop good. It's kind of a problem with trains. Kind of a known train issue, actually, when you really think about it. Nope, we gotta reverse it for what we wanna do. No, 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 no. We wanna reverse it. We gotta go backwards to do this right. A little bit more. A little bit more now. Bada bing. It's time to cook. What? I said it's time to cook. Set it to reverse. Reduce break. Time to go backwards. All right, we need to align ourselves with the station now. Easy now. We're doing this all careful. I should turn on my lights. I don't know if that did what I needed it to do, but I turned on the lights. We're going a little fast. I'm going to cut the throttle now. We're going to let ourselves drift until we're properly aligned with what we need to be aligned with. I don't want to die, Chad. I really don't want to die. Easy now. Easy! Easy! Easy now. One more connection. One more. When we get there, we set it all to a line. We're coasting well. And let's start hitting those brakes. Give it more. Give it more. Whoa there! Whoa there! Whoa! Whoa there now, whoa there. Or need to switch me onto the main line. Forward. Cut the brakes. We're gonna take this really slow. I'm already cutting the throttle again because I need to tell this thing to align me to the right thing. I'm gonna like crash into my cargo like a psychopath. Chad, we've officially changed our first line, dude. Looks like I'm already set to go through the middle so we can just kind of cruise through this. Looks like, okay. Yeah, that means, that means that's the way we're going. We're gonna be going straight. Okay, this is already set. Properly. I'm going right through the middle. Then we got to reverse back onto B60, which is that one. So we're going to be going past our cargo, and then we're going to reverse onto it, and then we're going to couple it. We're really doing it. We're really doing it now. Took us a little bit. But we're, we're, I think we're taking a good speed. Cruising at 30 kilometers an hour. Start slowing it down once we get to the other line. There's our cargo. There it is. Hang on. Start 
pull in the brakes, make sure that's off, start hitting the brakes. And stop! You wait here. I'm gonna make sure we're good to go. Gotta get on to B60. So we wanna go on this line. And then we want this line to make sure we're turning onto that. All right, we're aligned with B60. We are aligned with the cargo. Now we reverse. It's time, Chad, it's time. We are about to drive this train right to the cargo and we will not be derailing. Let's do this. Reverse, active, brake, off, throttle, engage. Keep her going. You're good. We're good. We're good. It's looking good. Cut the throttle. Coast at 20. Let me just double check while we're approaching. Yep, B60. That's our cargo. Hang on. Time to save. Slow. We gotta go slow, dude. Brakes! Easy now. We need to get it closer still. Good news is you always coast at the speed you set it to. So we can very slowly approach this and just kind of bump it. Easy. Easy. We're good. We're good. We're good. And... Break. Holy shit, I'm good. Damn. Damn, man. Damn. Damn. Oh. We're docked. I'm gonna turn off the train quick while I do this part. Not that I'm losing much fuel, but I don't wanna... Let's go turn it off while I set this part up, just in case. Okay. So, first things first, we grab this hook, and we... Yeah. Hook it. Then, we tighten it. Like so. Then... We are not actually legally allowed to use this cord. If you use this cord, you get fired. You're not allowed to use this one. I'm not allowed to use that one. That's the cord for people that know what they're doing when they drive a train. I'm not allowed. I have to use this one. I gotta use the funny line. There we go. And then, uh, what next is I hook up the, uh, I, 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 I yeah, I hit the cocks next. Turn these. There we go. Cocks are set up. That's what they're called. That's literally what they're called. That's literally what they're called, chat. Look it up. 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 That's what they told me they were called. They're called cocks. Those things are the cocks. Yep. He's lying. No, I'm not. I'm literally not. All right, this is our load, chat. Let's consult the map. So right now, we are, hang on, we are here. We are gonna be leaving down south. We're gonna be taking a straight away and we're gonna be banging on left now, following this line all the way to the harbor. Chat, just Google trains with cocks, trust me. A moderator said that, not me, the streamer. Just to let everyone know. Common mistake a lot of people make when they connect a train is they forget to turn the handbrake on all of the individual tracks. Chat. They forget to do that. They fuck it up. Wait, what? Was one of these not fucking turned? 
Or do I only need to get the front one? Okay, only the front one was turned. Okay, the other two are fine and off. Already. All right, Jet. It's time. Gonna save. These auto saves have been crazy active. What the fuck? Oh, I thought we were moving. I thought the world was moving. We're good. It's time to engage. Forward. Juice. Charged. Throttle. Active. We're moving! We're a real train, Chad, look! Look, Chad, look! We're really going! License revoked for that. No, uh uh. My license would be revoked for this! I'm revving up the train. We're gonna rev up the train a little. Yeah, it's a bit uh, watery out here, chat. But it's okay. We got lots of sand. If stuff gets a little bad out there, we'll drop some of the load. We're gonna pick up speed to 30, maybe even 40. Wait, 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 wait. We're going straight. You wanna take the 10. Yeah, we take the 10. Let's pick up speed. All right, we're gonna be following this rail. We're gonna be taking every single left here until we get to a triangle. <laughs> yeah, I know train tech. I know train terms. We take every left till we get to the triangle. Yeah. All my cargo is still here. We're doing good. Dude, go faster. Come on. All right. I see where we are. We're leaving the first triangle now. We are going straight ahead. Like it's nothing. Coast at 40. We're gonna take a nice, slow, leisurely ride. Damn, this is kinda nice. I can't, can I get, check, can I get ran over by my own? Does this game autosave every time I pause? Oh my God, that's fucked. Hang on, can I turn that off? That's fucked up. That's fucked. That's the most fucked hardcore setting I've ever seen. So every time I react to something and instinctively pause like I always do, it's gonna save? Damn. Well, that's convenient. Now I don't have to fucking tell it to save before I do this! See, now if I had paused, it would have saved me after my train left me. Which is why I'm not going to get owned. Because I know better. You thought I was going to pause and try to reload. But I'm not. Also, it seems like my train has an automatic stop function. If I get off of it. Yo, what's wrong with this thing? It actually pulled the... What the... What's wrong with you? Oh, it's a hill. <laughs> We're on a hill. Hills exist. I forgot hills exist. Chad, we can't just go fast up a hill. The incline is 1.3 degrees, I think. 
I could walk faster than this. I'm gonna sand it. Give it some sand. We gotta make it easy, chat. It's gonna be a long ride. Come on, you can do it. Come on now, you can do it. How do, look, look, like, come on. I'm walking faster than you. Literally. Come on. Come on. How much longer is this hill? Jesus Christ. All right, well, uh, back on. You're carrying tons of steel. Yeah, but like, yeah, but like, oh boy. Temp's a little high. Let's let that temp cool a little. Don't want it too hot now. Don't want it. No, no, no. It's not going to blow. It just needs to get over the hill. Why would I have this game autosave in at intervals at any fucking point if it saves when I goddamn pause every time? Make that interval as long as possible. I pause all the time. Come on, you can do it! We gotta make our quota! You need to push! You need to push. Oh, it's starting to get over the incline, I think. I think it's getting easier, chat. It's getting stronger. It's getting stronger. Hang on, I think something's making it go stronger. Hmm. Oh. It's time. We've gotten our- we've gotten our grip. We're good to go. I'm gonna turn on the fan so I can stay cool while the train does all the hard work. Give it a little bit more. Happening. We're getting stronger. Give it a little more. Yes. Yes. Now, where the hell are we? We're turning the bend right now. I see the bend. And we want to make sure that. I Is that a. I gotta make sure we're going- I can't see anything through all this rain! God damn! Alright, I'll be right back. You just keep doing what you're doing. Okay, we're about the same speed I learned. Never mind. I was gonna get ahead and see if I could uh, change the line early. 0.2 miles, we gotta go that way. I think. Pretty sure. Should be able to just lean out the window and get it, chat. Like it's nothing. Yup, that's going the wrong way. I'm gonna need us to change the line to our left. Uh, I don't have the exact number or ID of the line. I just need you to turn it left. Turn it left. Turn it left. Can't quite seem to get an angle on it to turn it left. That fucking thing's going right. Turn it left! Turn it left! Rerail! Switch! Switch! Oh, okay. We're okay. Crisis averted. That was almost a catastrophic derail. That was almost a horrible failure. But we lived. And now, it's time to speed this fucking train up. Now it's time to speed the freaking train up now. Let's go. 
Matal. Where the hell are we? All right, we're turning the bend. We just, we're, we're going into the next little section. I think right now we just made this turn. We're going up here now. Which means next we need to go straight through the next triangle. We know this. Those are all terms I know. Wait, there's another fork in point four. Oh wait, that one. Okay, so we just did this one. Now we're doing this one. All right, all right, all right, 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 right here. Yeah, these don't have any like numerical values or anything. So I'm kind of wait. Which way am I going here? That one also needs to be turned. We're coming in hot on this one. Command, I'm gonna need you to change this to another left right away. Right away, or we're gonna die. Right away. All right, thank you. We're taking this a little hot. I floored it by accident. It's okay. Trains take turns like this all the time. We're gonna coast at a cool 50 kilometers an hour for a while. Let's relax. We've earned a nice break from the chaos. 50 miles an hour ain't even, 50 kilometers an hour isn't even that fast. I can make us go way faster. Matter of fact. How much time do we have before we uh, get to our destination? Oh, this is the longest stretch of the whole thing. Speed the fucking train up. Faster. I want to go faster. We're going to go faster. We're going to be taking two rights now for the next part of this. Two rights. And then we keep going fast. Faster. Floor the train. Faster. I want to see it go faster. Faster now. You're doing good, train. You're doing good. 60 kilometers an hour. This is good. We got, we got steel to deliver. The, those starving orphans need steel. We're gonna deliver it, no matter what. That I can promise you. All right, stop. 70 is good. Wow. This land is so magical. It really is. Doing good on fuel? Well, ish. We'll make it. We'll be okay. We got a long way to go before we gotta worry about much else. How do I know my traction? I don't know. If it gets slippery, I'll just, uh, you know, sand it. It's been raining. Uh. Look at those rolling hills, those vistas. When do the train robbers show up? Uh, that's the thing, we hope they don't. Uh, what is that, a fucking crop circle? Triangle? Square? <laughs> I know what shapes are. What was that? What, what was that? Whoa, a bridge. Wait. Okay, I see where we are. Getting close to our turn. We should start slowing the train down, is what I would do. If I wasn't gonna get on the front of the train and do this live. Okay, so the next one command is going to be a pretty quick switch. So uh, get ready, I need to do two rights in a row. So please, 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 please do not slip up or I will freaking die. Thank you for understanding. Here we go. Here it is, chat! Any second now! We are coming up on the turn! Two! We need to take it straight! Two rights! I'm not seeing the thing. Wait a minute, is this map right? Huh? What? 
Where the fuck am I? Wait, 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 here it comes. Yeah, I see the bridge. I see the bridge. That's the bridge. That's the bridge! Here we go. This is it. The moment that changes the entire game. After this, we have to figure out where we're actually going to drop off this load. Pause the game to save. Unpause. Oh, shit. That way. Are we going through a tunnel? I don't have my lights on. Wait. Yes, I do. Oh, we don't even have to turn this one. We're done. Okay, cool. We did what we needed to do. Whoa. Whoa, the train kind of wiggled there. Did you guys see that? The train did a wiggle. That ain't right. This is a kind of steep turn. train down now. Hey, I'm gonna slow the train down a little bit. It's making some sounds I'm not used to. We're gonna just go ahead and hit the brakes a little bit, take it down to 50. Leave it at a cool 50. Leave it coasting at 50. Start making some screaming sounds I don't like. Didn't like that. Uh, hey, so we have to follow this line for a while. I need to start checking. So next we want to take, uh, the left. And then another left. Well, actually, I don't really need Hang on. I should pull up my map. We got a little bit of time before we're gonna need to take that left. I need to know where I'm actually going to be stopping this thing. Where's the... Hang on. Where's the harbor? Harbor in town. Where the fuck am I dropping this shit off? <laughs> okay, so we did this step. Next page. We haul. Okay. We're uncoupling this at C21 or C2I. The train's screaming. I don't like how the train keeps screaming. Okay, harbor map. See? I see. We're gonna be coming in from the west. Fucking hell, they're really making me work for it. Okay, this is all stuff we'll figure out once we get there, I guess. But we're gonna be... I see the path we take. We go up, and we reverse to see. Let me find which one of those we're actually dropping this load off on. I wish I could in post turn off this fucking, like, autosave on pause feature, because I'd love to throw one of these trains into the ocean. But it's kind of hard when the game's auto-saving every time I pause. Because then I feel like it's going to auto-save if I alt F4. God? <laughs> what happened?! I can't play this unrealistic. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. The fact it just auto-saved when it clocked I derailed is too cruel to me. That's so fucked. What even happened? Was I accidentally accelerating? What happened to me? That must have hurt. Don't worry about damage. You're insured. Pay the small copay at the career manager later and all damage fees will be cleared. Chad, Ch it's okay. I have insurance. <laughs> Chad, I won't be held responsible for this accident. I can't be. I have insurance. I'm gonna call. I guess I'm gonna walk home. I guess I'll walk to the harbor and pick up a job there. Yeah, I'll just keep living my life one step at a time. What's one crash? You can barely tell there was a train. Three 
$332. Fucking hell. Dude, I don't have a lot of money. That didn't happen to me. That's not me. That's not me. Or it's okay, chat, because we're gonna get the job done right this time. The station office doesn't know what happened. Do I have insurance? Wow, that train uh, cost a lot of money and all I got to pay is a hundred dollars. Damn, I'm barely held accountable at all. Yep, Hundy. Yeah, I don't, I, yep, that looks about right. Yeah, I'll go ahead and here you go. Yep. Boom. <laughs> Thanks for paying insurance. That's some good insurance, dude. I got some good insurance. Okay, chat, so la first mission went a little bad, but it's okay. There's always the next one. It's gonna happen right now, as soon as I find a nice, good old, normal old freight run. A good old freight run, dude. Just gotta find myself a good old freight. It's gotta be one usable one. Trash. 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 Good. Harbor in town to food factory in town. This train only has a value of 0 0.06 million. I can do that. Dude. What am I hauling? Dude, I'm taking it. Deliver empty boxes. <laughs> Only 7k. Hi, I only have 1.6k. Uh, I really don't have much to lose. Take it. You've reached the limit of concurrent active orders. How do I surrender? Oh, yeah. How do I surrender this? Now, how do I say I don't want to do this anymore because I lost? How do I tear this up? The trash. I'm trying to. There we go. Deny. Toss that in the trash. Uh, toss that in the trash. It's all in the trash now. Now if I uh, pull out this one again. There it is, dude. All right. They aren't holding me accountable for that, chat. I haven't learned my lesson at all. We're taking some boxes. Let's go. First step, we got to find ourselves a new train. Never punished. <laughs> Never punished. Never held accountable for any of my actions. Where do I pick up a train? Where's the harbor train station? People live here, dude. That's fucked. I see a train. That's mine, dude. That's my train now. Now, uh, let me pull up the harbor map. Let's see. Where am I picking this bad? Where am I picking this bad boy up? Hang on, tab. Wait, what's my, I need to open my actual inventory. What's my inventory, my like real inventory button? Settings. I know I have, there's a button that lets me actually open my inventory. Uh, caps lock? Caps lock. Just wanna move these next to each other instead of my wallet. Okay, so I'm picking up these at G30. Okay, easy. Right now, I don't really know where I am, actually. This is a big place. Dude, at least I didn't crash like that guy. <laughs> like an idiot. How the hell do you do that? Holy shit. There's always someone worse than you. Don't ever forget it, chat. Never, never get yourself too down. There's always someone worse than you. Someone that's even more pathetic that knows even less about the world around you. Don't forget it. 
Okay, well, I'm legally allowed to drive this. All reliable. Let's get this bad boy charged up. Get those juices pumping. Still don't really know where I am. Dude, how the fuck do they keep doing that? It's pathetic. Because, like, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, neither of these maps really explained to me where my... Like, I'm not seeing that roundabout. I don't know which one of these... I guess I'll just check that sign up there. Hang on, let me check that quick. Once I know this sign, I'll know where I am, and I'll know which way I need to align. Let's see. That's just a directional. Where's the actual sign that tells me where the fuck I am? Do we own one? Do we have one? Where am I? Where the fuck am I? Where am I? Well, either way, I know one thing. I'm going straight for a while because I'm stuck in one big line. So I guess I'm going this way. None of these go anywhere. Well, technically, I could reverse, but still don't know where that would even take me. I just need to find an address. Place too big. Place too big. Turn this off. Forward. Throw. Faster, I'm not a pansy. It's not like I'm driving with anything. Right, where the hell are we going? Say six. Wait, 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 stop. Perfect. Okay. Six. Ain't none of these say six on them. Ain't none of these say six. That says B, C, D, E, F, G, 1, P, 2, P. There ain't even an A. What the fuck is this? Six is the speed limit. Where am I? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got something. Over here. Found a split, finally, I fucking found something. G30. I'm at G. Okay. I'm at G, which means I was at the center, probably by, like, going towards D over there. Okay. I, I just needed, like, to be situated. Okay, I'm looking at G leaving. So I'm, at, I'm in the middle of the map right now. Isn't my thing at G? G30. There it is, which means this is my line. We're gonna go past it, reverse into it, and then we take it. I mean, I need to know where this other town is. What am I actually even, where am I going? Food and factory town, so FF station. Where the hell is that? Holy shit, that is up north. That is a ride, chat. That is a ride. I see it. Yep, well, we are going the right way. Okay, we're going straight. Straight through, reverse in, then we're good. This is technically the fastest way to travel, so don't laugh at me. A ride we ain't gonna survive. Chat, we're gonna survive this one, okay? The only thing that would take us down is like the wind pushing the train off the rails or something. Okay, let's go. Easy. Might have floored it a little too hard. Might have given it a little bit too much oomph. There. Might have oomphed it a little. What is the speed limit here? Five? <laughs> yeah. Over my dead body. I said. Going 40. Whatever. What's this? 
all of the signs around me are saying that I should be careful of my speed when driving. Ha, <laughs> floors it. That applies to everyone, but not me. Are you teetering? No, I'm not. Stuff's fine. All right, that's my load right there. G30. All right, stop the train. There you go. Went a little far, but uh, that was less because of my speed and more because I was like distracted. Okay, uh, sit at like 15's good. Good. And let's make sure we're going to G30 here. So we want to cut to that line. And then there, G30. All right, we're lined. We just got a couple and then we're good to go. Real train drivers drift corners. Real train drivers uh, know what they're doing. And I mean, I'm going to be drifting soon enough. Don't worry. It's just going to take me a little bit of time to get there. This isn't a good drifting train. You know, that's kind of the issue. It's not a very good drifting train. We could definitely get a better drifting train. Easy now. Easy now. Whoa there. Whoa there. And a nice and gentle stop. Oh! I need to get this closer. Whoopsie! <laughs> Whoops! There you go! There you go! You know, chat, that crash would have never happened if I was licensed to use a multiple unit system, but I'm not. Which is why they make me use this stupid system that kills me. It's not, how's that fair? How the heck and heck is that fair? I should have been alive, but I died because of something so foolish. The world just isn't fair to me. It's time. We got our load. Wait, let me double check. This is my load, right? I don't want to take the wrong load. Yep. Sun Omni. Empty. Container. <laughs> Okay, hit the brake. I'm pretty sure the other ones are all off. Yeah, because it's just the front one. Copy that. Let's go. Just consult the map so I know which way I'm going here. Straight for a long time. Right, straight through, left. And then we do like a weird circle loop-de-loop -loop thing. Okay. Which guess do I have? We're good. All right. Chat, it's time. Let's roll. We've got the load. You know what I don't have on? The lights. It's the middle of the night and raining. I need to have the lights on. Take it up to a smooth 30 and no faster because anything higher than that will kill me. We've learned that. All right, and now time to wake everyone in town up as I leave. Now it might not sound that loud, but it's really very loud. Anything 
I do? Yeah, yeah, fuck all of yous. Can't see. Did a bird get in the building? Close this. Where's my lights? I need the cabin lights on. I can barely see. Dash lights. Okay. Okay, we're going a little slow. I'm gonna speed this up. We're gonna pick this up to 30 now. If we can handle 30 kilometers an hour, what can we handle? Pick it up to 30. All right, that's good. This is good. Oh no, it's uphill. All right. Keep it stable. We keep going at this speed. God damn, it's dark. Wait, 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 wait. I pressed F because I thought I'd pull out a flashlight. It didn't. <laughs> damn, it's dark out there. It's fucking real dark. How long are we gonna be on this line? I can barely see. See here. Uh, a long fucking ways, actually. We'll know when we're getting close because we'll go over a bridge. Until then, we are gonna be on this line. Look at that, look at that moon. Look at that beautiful lake. You guys know I could be going faster than this, right? Like, come on, let's all be real. And I should be. It is my destiny to go faster than this. I was going a little too fast last time. But I can totally go faster. Chad, the problem last time wasn't just that I derailed, it was that I derailed off a cliff. Think about it. That was the big issue, was that I derailed into water and died. We're gonna be fine now. What is- Get this creature out of my right ear! Who's doing that? Gotta watch the speed, cause the second we start going downhill, I need to turn off my, uh, accelerator. Ghost train, I'm turning off the headlights. Oh, I see, so that's like the power of the light. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, stop the train! Stop the train! Looks like we're going in the spooky tunnel, chat. Nothing we can do about it. We're going in the scary tunnel. I'm gonna honk the horn. Huh. Big tunnel, chat. Never seems to end this tunnel. You know, there's been 19 different disappearances in this tunnel, all train conductors. You'd think at a certain point, people would stop taking this tunnel, but we still have to. It's the only way to get to the next tunnel, which is unironically even more dangerous than the last. I was told if I have my lights on when I go into that tunnel, I'll never come out the other side. And that was told to me by a guy who then did that exact thing and disappeared never to return, which is why I'm gonna go ahead and cut my headlights entirely. In the dash. We're only safe so long as we stay in the shadows of this tunnel. I need to see, I need to see, I need to see. Ooh. 
I mean, we're making good time, it feels like. How's my gas? Feels doing well? We're still technically on an uphill incline, which is why I haven't cut my speed, like my actual throttle. Wait. Yeah, no, we're still losing it. 30 feels good. 30 feels safe. 30 feels okay. I'm not, that's not gonna be me. I'm not gonna crash again. 30 feels like an acceptable speed for the amount of insane wines this route has. I, Cause if you haven't noticed chat, let me show you. Uh, we're right now we're on that far, we're on that route by HB at the bottom going up north. Uh, we're like the far bottom right hand route, that swerving one right around the mountain. It's very wiggly. I don't really want to Sunday driver perk streamer. I'm gonna kill us all. I'm gonna kill every last one of us on this train. Less sharp turns have derailed me before. I'll tell you what. We hover at 35. That's about as fast as I'm willing to go. That's the third most haunted tunnel in the entire world. The third of the many egg-shaped tunnels that haunt this valley. Fifty kilometers an hour isn't even that fast. Yeah, but like, I don't want to die. Yeah, but chat, last time I went fast at all, I crashed. I derailed into a lake. And that was the end of my story. Don't you understand? I can't get owned like that a second time, chat. God. Have we finally reached flat incline? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Well, it's okay right now. This is pretty straight. We're slowing down. But I don't like that turn coming up, actually. We're gonna slow it down. Down more. Take it down to 40. Okay. 37 or so is a good speed, I think. I think, uh, I think this is fine. The train would make sounds if it was having a problem. We're okay. But by God, if we weren't okay, we would be falling a great distance down into the rocky depths below. If stuff goes wrong, we would be just another train at the bottom of Derail Valley. We're probably coming up on the, uh... Well, we'll know when we're almost there because of the bridge, I guess. There's a bridge we need to pass. When we pass it, we'll know it's time to choose the next direction. How's my fuel? Jesus, I'm burning through fuel. Maybe I'm going too fast. Someone said earlier the sign is times 10, so 50. What the hell does that mean? Isn't the limit five kilometers an hour? The signs are times 10. Wait, so, wait, wait, wait. So should I be following the speed signs in this game? Wait a minute. Are you telling me the game's been telling me how fast to go and I've been ignoring it and eyeballing it this whole time?
Dude, I've never properly followed a speed limit in my life. Out here, a speed limit of 30 means go 45 unless you see something on the sidewalk or on the side of the road. That's just how it is. If you don't do that, people will fucking tailgate you until you fucking get actually driven off the road. <laughs> You will be- you will be killed by the person behind you. I'll keep an eye out for the next sign. But right now, 30 feels safe, even though 30 doesn't really... I'm worried about my fuel count. I'm not gonna derail on 30. Which is nice. Wow. That fall would kill me if I derailed right now. If I were to do the derail valley classic. Wait, the bridge. The bridge. That's the bridge. Okay, that was the bridge. Right? That's the bridge. Okay. We are almost at the turn. We need to be we need to be ready now. We're coming up on our turn. Get ready with the radio. Get ready to switch. No, we're making- this is good, this is good, this is a good- this is a good approach speed. 30 feels like ideal for me. Thirty feels good. This feels safe. Early, earlier we were going like 30 in an 8. Look, the game never taught me how to read signs. It taught me how to turn the train on and drive it. Okay. There it is. There it is. Wait. I didn't know there'd be two bridges. What the? No, 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 that's a, that's a fork. Coming up on it. Little slow for my liking. There it is. The fork in the road. Turn this corner past these haunted trees. This feels like a safety hazard. Hey, uh, does someone want to trim these? I feel like this shouldn't be in the way of the tracks. Oh, they moved. Okay. Are you rushing or are you dragging? I don't know if I'm going too slow or too fast right now because last time I thought I was going too slow, I derailed and killed myself. So, um... I don't, I don't, I can't tell you these things. All I can do is follow my heart. And my heart says it's time for me to tell this thing I want to go. Oh, it's already all set. All right. Yep. Make this turn. And then we're going north for a while. What does six mean? What does six mean? Does six mean I go 60 kilometers an hour? 60. It means I go 60. Speed limit. I'm taking it to 50. I'm tired of being a coward. I'm gonna take it to 50. I'm- I've been being a coward. One derail was all it took for me to lose all my confidence in myself. All it took was one derail for me to lose every little bit of spirit I had left. But now, I'm gonna go 50. This feels a lot better for me. Oh yeah. Alright, so uh, we're gonna be going this way for a long time, actually. There's no turns for a long time, then we'll be taking a left. 
Looking kind of wiggly. Nuh-uh. It's looking stable, actually. I'll have you know. It's looking stable AF right now. And we're not scraping the roof. All right, this egg-shaped tunnel is perfect for us. Seventy? We're taking it up to sixty. We go exactly ten below the speed limit every time. That's what we do. More. More! More! 50 feels good. This turn's gonna kill me. This is it. Everyone make peace with your gods. This cliff is where we die. 40! Whoa there! Whoa there! Whoa! We're fine. I'm paying careful attention to these signs now, chat. We're fine. We do 10 below the speed limit every time, we're not gonna die. I'm paying way more attention now. We hit the signs when we see them. 60. It's time to floor it. Again. It says 60, so we go 60. And by 60, I mean 50. Accelerate the train through the tunnel. Stop the acceleration. Cease. Dude, now that I know how this works, I feel way more confident. Scared by a painted sheet of metal. No, no, no. Scared of my train glue releasing from the rails and my train flying into the sky or off the tracks into a cliff. That's what I'm scared of. 80? Don't mind if I do. Scared! What the fuck does that say? Sixty-five feels good. It claims eight. And now it's going down to seven. But we're slowly slowing down because we're going up an incline, so it's actually naturally going to correct itself. This is correcting itself as we go. Hey, this turn is not something you do going my speed. What the fuck does this game think is it's doing? You know what? If it says so, it says so. I'm naturally correcting myself to the speed I'm supposed to be going for these turns. It says it can take 60. I'm going 55. Damn. Look at this place. They have no idea I'm about to derail a train right onto that apartment building. Hang on, I'm gonna wake him up. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up, it's time to wake up! 70. Time to get back to cruising. So right now we are at, uh, let me turn on the cab. We just passed GF, which means we're gonna be taking the next left we see. Did I just cross a, uh, did I just pass a sign that was gonna tell me the speed I'm supposed to be going? Because I think it switched off of 70 very quickly. 50! Stop the train! Slow the train, doll! Can barely see with the cab lights on. 
Oh yeah, that's a 50 turn, all right. I wouldn't have wanted to do that without being down at 35 or so. We're getting better though, chat. We are not gonna crash again like an idiot. We're not. We're gonna be okay. 40! Saved. 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 Everything's saved. We're okay. He's so jumpy. Wouldn't you be? Dude, I don't even think it took very much for my train to derail last time. If someone could go back and check the VOD, I don't think I was going that fast. Why are you freaking out? You were going 35. It didn't feel like it took very much for my train to fall off the rails last time. You were go you were at 60 and accelerating last time. <laughs> really? Damn. Okay, fine. We're gonna pick it up to 40. Like it's supposed to be. Fine. We'll follow the speed limit to a T just like we do out- No, actually, I'd be going 10 over or 15 over if I was in Massachusetts driving. Uh... We'll follow it kind of closely. Which turn am I- I'm gonna be taking the left when I see a turn coming up. Whoa, I'm going over. Slow it down. Keep it at 40. 30! Hit the brakes! Fucking Christ. It comes at you fast out here, chat in the dark. That switched from 40 to 30 like it was nothing. And people wonder why I'm jumpy. And people think maybe he's jumpy. Yeah, there's a fucking reason for that. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, there's a goddamn reason I'm jumpy. It's because this whole goddamn train system is made by psychos and clowns. I don't want to die like this on the rails. Crunched up by a big old train. Dead in derail valley. That ain't gonna be me. I'll tell you what. That ain't how I go. There's my fork. Taking the left. And then we do a little loop de loop. And we're right at FF. As planned. Don't worry, Tomato, your employer will be overjoyed to run another insurance scam with you. You really mean it? Alright, our speed limit for that line is 40. So let's roll. Doing good, chat. I'm getting my shit together. You're gonna do a job properly. I don't like accelerating on a turn, but I also don't like not being very close to the speed limit. So I'm gonna take it up to 35. I'm gonna sit there. Okay, it says I can go up to... Dude, that turn don't look like a 50. I'll tell you what. But if you say so, I'll take it up to 40. Going downhill, so I should be able to coast it. So, you know, this is how they get you, chat. Going downhill, look at my fucking speed increase, dude. I gotta watch this shit. I got, dude, turns out signs when you're driving a train fucking matter. Did you guys know that? Like, apparently, these signs actually do have a purpose for me. Because if I don't know the incline, it, I go too fast. And then I build up too much speed, and then I die. My last character died because he didn't read the fucking signs. And now this character is gonna live. 80? Finally, I can floor it. Thank God. 
Vroom, vroom! This train can finally get moving! Look at those wide open expanses, those rolling green hills in the shadow. Uh, we're gonna start slowing the train down. Slow the train down! Okay, good. It's getting a little fast. We're going downhill. Easy. 70! Break! Break! Take it to 60. We're gonna be okay. 60's good. Coward simulator. Dude, I'm gonna derail in the tunnel! Easy now. Easy now. Take it to 50. I don't like this. I don't like this. I want to get a job done. I want to do it right by the books. No problem. No, I am not going to derail in this valley. 40. Holy shit. This guy's trying to kill me. Who made this train track? Break. 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 Nine out of ten train drivers fucking die in that tunnel, chat. They just don't slow down and they crash right into that side of the egg and they get cut in half. Nine out of ten. Yup. Not gonna be me. Wait, so what? what's the next step of my journey? We took the left, we're doing this big loop-de-loop, -loop, and then we're taking a right, and then we're keeping right, till we get to FF. We're taking every right we see. Good to know. I think we're still going downhill, so we're just gonna pick up speed on our own. This is the longest night I've ever been on, dude. Holy crap. Nine out of ten train operators slow down before they make it big. True, that says 80. We're speeding this fucking train up. When you write, you write. Hit the lever. Go, 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 go! Faster! It's hard to tell how fast we're going until I walk outside. What that says that's at 60! When the game auto-saves, I can only perceive it as a malicious attack against my survival at this point. That's how I see it now. When the game slow when the game auto-saves on my behalf, I can only assume it's gonna kill me. Is that tree literally on the tracks? Okay, that's gonna be taking it down to 40 for sure. That tree is on the track! Derail valley moment. Oh, we're okay. <laughs> Classic derail valley moment right there. How the fuck does this make... What the... Chat, how do... Chat, how does that rail in this tunnel connect? How tight is the turn in here? That is the sharpest turn I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, I see. I see where we are. Yeah, 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 we don't have to take it right here. All right, yeah, because it's not technically a triangle. We keep going forward now. I missed what the speed limit was, so I'm going to keep coasting at uh, 30, which is, like, safe. So we're just taking the next uh, right. We see. Yeah. Next right, and then we're there. 40. Dude, I'm having fun, dude. I'm in it now. I've got this all dead. I've got this down. I feel like I'm playing, like, the trucking game. That I played a while back. 
So this time I'm operating something that can and will kill me. We're going too fast. Slow it down. Downhill is a little scary. Oh, I think we're technically going uphill now. Get you more speed. We're up to five now. I'm gonna speed up this train to five now. Get this train up to five now. Eat. Fuel, doing good. I have plenty for this. This ain't a 50 turn. This is a this is a 60? Okay. Whatever you say. Okay, I'm just gonna coast it. Technically going downhill. And they gotta install radios in this thing, dude. All I have for music is this. Forty! We're dead. This is it. This is the turn that kills me. We lived, but just barely. We lived, but barely. Okay, we stay at 40. We're good, we're just gonna keep it here. Keep it chill, keep it calm. Chat, what the fuck does this brake line do? The front one? Cause they only taught me about this one, the back one, as like the main brakes. What the fuck is the other one? Okay, we're actually already on the right line, so we're good. Don't have to change anything. It's probably locomotive only brake. Ah, yes. I feel like that would kill me if I did that. That's the derailment brakes. That's the brake I hit when I really want to th throw all these empty boxes onto my character from behind. I see. Alright, chat. Well, sun's starting to come up. Looks like. And, uh, we are cruising now straight towards FF. Uh, it's probably fair to... I can actually see it in the distance. There it is, chat! We're gonna keep just cruising at the speed we're at. Uh, while well, I check FF Food and Factory Town on this. I don't know where we're dropping this shit off yet. HOLY SHIT! Death moment. 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 We're fine. Man, oh man, this sometimes feels like one of those two-person jobs. Okay, where am I dropping this shit? Anyways. Dude, literal death moment. Look at this clip. Death moment. What the fuck? Dude, build train tracks in places that are flat. Come on. Okay. Uh, so we're taking it to D2I. All right. We're coming in from northeast, or are we coming in from southwest? Uh, we're coming in from northeast, so we are going to be taking a right, and then we'll find what track we're taking. We did it, chat. We are in sight of our destination. We are gonna let them know right now that we are coming in so that all the people waiting for our empty boxes can get excited. Let's get excited.
Your package has arrived? No, 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 chat, that's the thing. Your package hasn't arrived. Because there's nothing in it. These are the These boxes are empty. There's nothing in them. Your box has arrived. Just the box. That's my empty box. Yep. If you ordered empty boxes, your boxes are here. It'd be so embarrassing to derail five inches from the uh, place, huh? That would be the worst moment of my life. If I derailed, like, literally in front of everyone. Oh, boy. That would end my life. Taking that turn, we're gonna start slowing this bad boy down. I think we're taking the second right though, right away. All right, slow this down. Cause we need to figure out which one of these lines we're actually going into. So I'm gonna turn the train off while I figure out where I'm going. Actually, I don't really even need to turn it off. It's parked. Okay, so that's 1S. I came in from the side I thought I was coming in from, right? Yeah, 1S is right there. We're going up through D, but I don't know which line yet. Uh, I'm actually dropping off on. So I just want to set it up now. Okay, so we're dropping this shit off at... D2I. So, taking, this is set up right. Oh, they set it up all nice for us. Oh, we're already good to go. All right. We're already all set, folks. They left it, they left it all lined up. Whoever the person was here before us actually cleaned up the place mighty fine. We should all be mighty happy about that. Now, before I leave, I'm going to shuffle it all up to keep it more challenging for the next realistic difficulty player. Mm-hmm. Because that's, uh, that's the real spirit of the game right there. I'm going to shuffle it up. Mm-hmm. Yep. Let's pull in. Easy now. Easy now. This is the last part of the journey, the last stretch. We do this, we've done it all right. Oh wait, I wake everyone up. Wake the fuck up, idiots! All right, so I guess I just want to kind of align it to this thing. Drop it off anywhere here. I'm gonna miss these boxes. I really am. They meant the world to me, these boxes. My first real successful haul this whole game, chat. God damn, brings a tear to my freaking eye. These boxes, we've been through so freaking much. I honestly, it feels like they're heavier than empty boxes. And sometimes when we be Driving through those dark tunnels, I'd hear screaming. I'd hear sounds like <laughs> from like in them, but I chose to ignore it because honestly, it's not my job to ask such stupid questions. I can't help but feel like if I dropped it off right now, they would tell me I overshot it. So I'm going to reverse it a tiny bit just to be sure. Because if I drop it and they tell me I overshot it, I'm going to be really annoyed. I just want it just past the sign. There we go. Alright. Let's get this bad boy detached. Now, is it safe to uncouple the brake line when the train is on?
Train, why are you making that sound? Train? The cock is still open! The cock! Whoopsie! Should probably close the cock on the other side too. I'm gonna get yelled at. By my supervisor. Okay. Fixed it. Fixed it. Fixed the cock. Which is what it's called. Okay, look it up. Don't look up train cock, but that is what it's called. If you played the game, you'd know. Uh, let's pull this forward. Do I even care? Yes, I should pull it forward. I don't technically own this vehicle. This is a rental, so I don't really care that much. Now, where is the service depot? Probably want to park it in there. Now, let's park it in the service depot and take a look around and drop off the actual job now that's delivered. Yeah? Got their service. Stop it. Damn, he's good. Damn, he's good. Sheesh, man. What the hell this guy doing? Damn, ma. Damn, ma. He really knows what he's doing, ma. All right. Let's pull this into service. I don't own this train, so what do I care? I finished the job, so I don't even know what's going on there. Uh, I think I just tripped it. <laughs> what happened? Did I... Chat, did I fucking manage to stop my train perfectly on the rail and therefore have it force derail me? I Did I actually multi-track drift? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he's good though. Sheesh. Well, that's not my problem. This is my train. That's not my train. This is my train. <laughs> I don't know whose train that is, but this was always my train. Mm -hmm. Who the fuck parked that there? Someone's drifting again. Weird. I actually need to go to the uh, place and hand in the job because legally, I just have to validate this order. Whole thing's done. Which is uh, right over here somewhere. Do you think they're going to yell at me about that train or do you think they're going to let it slide because I did such a dang good job delivering these boxes? I think they're going to do the latter. Chat, there was a moment when that started spinning and I started moving where I f literally disassociated. <laughs> and I was just like, I'm not here. Whatever happens, I'm just seeing this funny little thing rotate a little too much. Ugh. I didn't even say anything. This isn't happening to me. This is happening to someone else. Uh, that's got to be the, uh, management office. All right. Bring it in. Drop it off. Easy peasy. Bring it in. Drop it off. Why is the station on? Oh, it's the sun. I thought the station was on fire. Hey, guys. I'm here to validate my order. HB3GO? What the fuck is the problem with that? Is it just a handbrake? I think it's just a handbrake. It says it's like not there, but I think it's just because it thinks there's the hand, like I need to do the handbrake. Good news is, uh, 
That's literally right here, right? Like, I can just... D2I. Yeah, just go up and fucking rotate the handbrake and it'll be fixed. 10 seconds. 10 second fix. 10 second fix. Because that bad boy is exactly where it fucking needs to be. D2I. Right where they ordered. Hit the handbrake. Boom. Hell, I'll do it on multiple for good measure. Boom. I'll skip the last one though, so it's not too annoying for the next guy. Does that cover me? Is that it? Because I know that's in the right spot. Validate. Bro! My money! Huge! $10,000 I got paid because I did that in half the fucking time. I got bonus pay. De derailed? You can still re-rail your car. They don't know I derailed. Chat, they don't know I derailed. They have no idea. They paid me for that job. My car is, they don't even know. Oh my God. Well done. No damage was made to derail Valley property or the environment. Keep it up. Damn right. We all know one thing about my hard work. Not one crash happened the whole time. That wasn't me. What happened over here was one of the other trainees. Yep. This idiot right here. Don't know who did that. Wasn't me. Sure hope no one needs to use the service station. <laughs> sure hope no one needs to use the service station anytime soon. Because by golly, it's going to be a little hard. A little bit hard to do that. Mm -hmm. A little bit hard. Well, I'll let, someone, I'll let everyone know that this train's here just so people don't accidentally drive onto it or something. So let me just... And then I'll just get a little silly and like, uh, make sure the train is on. And floor it. It's okay, chat. The fuel, though. Yeah, I mean, if it blows up, it blows up. What do I care? I say as the game auto saves. Lots of cars, huh? Lots of fucking cars, huh? Jeez, that's a lot of fucking cars. All right, well, chat, we got to get another job. Yeah. We gotta get ourselves another job. Come on. How much money do I have now? Do I have any fees I need to pay? <laughs> Why the fuck would I pay for that? A hundred dollars is all- Dude, the fact that I did all that and they're only asking me to pay a hundred dollars for the ever-increasing insurance cost for that thing. Dude, it's still going up. I'm going to need to take this to my lawyer before I pay anything. <laughs> what the? Emissions? What the fuck do I care about my emissions? Why the fuck would I pay this? What the hell does this game even want from me? Six cents? I can't afford it. What do you think I'm just made out of money? You think I can just do whatever the fuck I want out here? I can't. Toss it in the trash. Toss that in the trash. I'll pay the insurance fee, but that's about it. Oh, I have to actually put my wallet in. Son of a bitch. I only have $12,000. Come on. Alright. Am I cleared? I am. I believe. 
Yeah. What was that honk sound? Was that my train exploding? All right, fees. No fees. Licenses. Yeah, what if I just... Shut up, I just leave? What is shunting? Shut I have a question. What the fuck is shunting? Huh. Loading and unloading wagons. Why the fuck would I want to do that? That's someone else's job. That's that's someone else's fucking job. Dude, we could make the train long, man. I do one long job, we're gonna be cooking. All it would take is one long job, one long length haul. What do I got here? Food factory in town to goods factory in town. Holy. That's a long haul, man. Right, that's a maybe. Put that on the ground. Trash. Trash. Long haul. Food factory. This one's another maybe. Pays less. Trash. Garbage. Garbage. 16,000. Just a lot of containers. I could get paid a lot of money if I did that. Chat. That would cover me. I do that, I'd be a million, billion, trillionaire. All I have to do is one long haul. Food factory back to harbor in town. I don't want to do the same trip back. Wait, would it even be the same trip back or would it be like a slightly different one? Hang on, let me check the map. Mm, yeah, it'd be same trip back. Yeah, we're not doing that. I don't want to do same trip. Uh, long... Logistical hall. We don't do logistical. Holy shit. All I have to do is deliver canned food. The city needs me! Chat, the city needs me! $30,000, all I have to do is get long haul. I'm gonna get it. Ah, uh, hi, yes. I'd like one license to long haul. Oh, I have to insert my wallet. I feel like this should be more secure than this. But, okay. There you go. It's as simple as that, huh? Is that, is that my... I'm sorry. Uh, I don't remember it saying that I had to pay an insurance copay. How much money is in my fucking wallet right now? Well, We didn't agree to an insurance copay. Your license grants you order access to orders of up to 10 cars long. Beware that total train mass exceeding your locomotive's tractor support. Train mass, 450 tons. Before I take this job, should I go to the train that I would take and see if it'll even be able to handle that? Your insurance went from $100 to $2,000. Yeah, but my pay went from like a 7,000 to 30,000, so it's good. Let me just check if I can even take this job, because this is a lot more mass than the other one is. Because I can't even take that one. D-E- How do I know the train? How, how do I know how much I can actually haul with this thing? Because that says 38. That's how many tons the train is, right? How do I know the actual tractive power of this? It can- Is that just how much it can pull? It can do 250 tons about. 400 tons on a flat track. I don't think I can do this then. Oh, I have to ditch this. this that's trash. Because uh, this is a job for um, 450 tons total. Probably can't do that. Especially if there's any uphills. Do 
Can you use two of them? What, you want me to have two trains fucking, like, connected together? DE2 is 400 flat. Then I can't do this, is what you're saying. You're saying I can't do this, is what you're saying. Which is what I'm saying. I don't think I can do this. I can grab- does a smaller job. Yeah, I'll, I'll just grab the other job. It's not a big deal. The other job we got on the ground is just as good. I mean, it won't pay as much, but, like, I'd rather not immediately get owned by doing a job that's gonna take me a thousand years and also result in me having to pay, like, two thousand dollars because I didn't ever finish it. Uh... Yeah, this one's only 170. This one's totally fine. We'll take this one. Still pay 16,000. All right, freight hall. Uh, wait, this is the harbor town. Oh God, uh, I actually want to quit this one. Uh, sorry, <laughs> oopsie. I meant there was another one on the ground I wanted to dra uh, grab. So we're gonna toss that one out. Uh, it was this one. Wait, no, that's just the logistical hall. Toss that in the trash too. Where was it? It was this one. Goods factory. This one's a shorter job. Yes. Okay, chat. We are t delivering more empty boxes from FF to, uh, let's see here, GF. We passed that place earlier, remember? Thing is, this time we're gonna be going under it. It's actually a really short trip. Uh, my train's already on the right side, so we'll just find where the pickup is and do it like it's nothing. Should be a fast ride, uh, ride actually. Uh, okay, so, we are looking... Do I have two separate lines I need to grab for this? C70. Oh, it might be right here. This is it. <laughs> Which one of you is this? Just so I know what I'm connecting to. Canned food. Damn, this would have been the canned food line. This white box one would have been all the canned food I would have been delivering. C seven zero. All right, this is the line I'm taking. Mother of God! Look at all this, Chad. All these boxes are part of the next haul. All these blue boxes are part of my haul. Yeah. I'm thinking we're about to start cooking. Holy shit. Alright. Who the fuck parked that there? Some idiot's been attempting to fucking rail drift without proper license certification. Fool. Doesn't know anything about the job. Pathetic. What a doofus. Pour one out for that guy. <laughs> I think it's easier to approach this from this distance on this one. So I'm gonna set up the whole line once I get to this part. Reverse to it properly. And make sure I don't fucking accidentally rail drift the whole fucking thing. Okay, switch that one to here. Hold the line. We continue to switch that one to here. We go this way. Keep straight. Trying to get to the blue. So we turn this one. Turn that one. Nope. Turn that one. Alright. That's blue. Those are our boxes. Let's get loaded up and get this job done. Nice and quick.
brings cargo, derails train, refuses to elaborate. What can I say? What can I say? I've got some controversial practices I use to get the job done, but goddammit, I get it done pretty damn well. I'm the best in the goddamn business and everyone knows it. Even if they won't all admit it. Easy. What's that about? Chill. All right, let's get this done. Where is it? Where's my train? Damn, look at that idiot. C70, yeah? C70. Alright, slow it down. We're good. We're good. We're doing good. Now we keep it nice and slow. Nice and slow now. Break. Oh no, it's fine. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Get in there. But you're touching. But you're touching. Hang on. There. Happy now? Happy? Is that good now? There. Check the lines. All right, chat. We're gonna let that juice up, and then, we're driving. Brakes off. Wait. That means they are off. Wait, so I was just turning the brake on, right? Which means probably the other side is the one that has the brake off. Yeah, brake is off. Okay, the other side has it. Wait a minute. Yeah, we're good. Time to haul, chat. We know the route. We're going straight up that way. Wait, are we? Wait a minute. Where am I looking right now? Oh, shit. Damn! Right now, we're looking south. How the hell did this happen to this fucking train? We don't even have a turntable here! What kind of... Oh no, no, no. I'm just gonna drive the whole thing in reverse. Yep. That's how my forefathers would have done it if they realized. We're gonna do it all in reverse, brother. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do what they call a... Drift maneuver. Mm hmm. We're gonna drive this whole train in reverse. Long hauling.
That's the most psycho thing I could possibly ever do in my entire life. Okay, so I have to take this train out and turntable it around because I didn't realize. God damn it. Stop. Then I gotta take it through the other way. Ugh. No wonder it was fucking e braked on that side. God damn it. Son of a bitch. I'm still the best. Don't get it twisted, I'm still the best. All, this happens to all the best. Careful now, easy. Switch that preemptively. Don't drift. Stop. And reverse it. A turn to. Good news is we don't have to go to service. That's good. We're all glad about that right about now. What with that train that someone crashed there on the line. We're just gonna do a casual stop here on the turntable and spin it around 180 degrees. No problem. This, we do this one all the time. And let's start slowing it down now. Faster now! Faster now! As, uh, just as according to my plans. Now we do it a quick spin around. Quick 180 spin on this. Yes. Why are you question marking? This is exactly what we do. He must be drenched in sweat by this point. No, I'm fine. Boom, dude, perfect. Now we just reverse it back to where we were. I mean, it's not, we, this is actually relatively fast. It's not taking me that long. Now let's take it back to that intersection. Whoa there, whoa there. Easy now. You just gotta take it through the line that gets us uh, all the way through the middle there, which is the annoying part. All right, chat, we're gonna do this all in one. No slowing down. Hit it, blast it, full throttle. We're going right down the middle. I'm gonna eyeball it while I go. Um. Good. Bad. Wait. Good. Good. Alright, that gets us through. We're already right next to our cargo target, no problem. Look at how massive this hall is. Holy shit, mother of God. Holy shit, mother of God. Look at the size of this thing. 
Damn. Hope we didn't read the map wrong. No, I'm going the right way now. We need to be going northeast. It's time. Time to pick up the load. Check. Let's do this. Faster! Faster! We're already behind! Too fast. Way too fast! Stop! Damn, I'm fucking good. Holy. Most people would have started screaming and crying by now, but not. Perfect. Perfect. It's called a perfect connection. We love that. Hit the cock. Bada boom, bada bing. And now, chat, we fucking ride. Full steam ahead. We got the... I'll jump on and climb my way back up front. It's gonna be fine. This is so embarrassing. Seeing the train derail in front of me. <laughs> OSHA hates this. Yeah, they, they do. They do. But what do I care? This is going well. Alright, let's check the map. Get this shit situated and ready to go. Okay, so all we actually have to do to get to this place is take a right, and then a right, and then a left. Easy peasy. First part of this trip is nice and easy. We've done it before. We're gonna hold the speed limit just as uh, just as we did last time. This time though, with a much larger load, so we should be careful with our speed. In the sense that it's gonna be a lot harder to break it or build it. This looks a lot different at uh, during the day. Hang on, I'm gonna say bye to everyone in town. A little bit faster, dude. All right, All right time is money. Time is money. It says we can go 50. We're going 50. the bridge. Coming up on the bridge, which means next we get to the really wiggly part that's super dangerous. Okay, we're on an incline, so it's gonna slow me down. We're gonna hold the goddamn speed limit. I'm not a coward anymore. I am not a frickin' coward. We're actually going over the speed limit and that means we might die. I don't want to scare anyone, but last time I went slightly over the speed limit, I fell into the water and died. Coward POV. Wrong guy who wants to live and be successful POV. Dude. 
Okay, bro? I don't want to derail. That's not gonna be me. I'm not planning on derailing. That ain't gonna be me. I ain't gonna crash. What was that saying? Oh. Okay, first turn. Coming up. Uh, after this tunnel. And we will be taking a right. Sure is loud, this thing. What's that? We're not even close to the speed limit. Where the hell is he? Now the game said 30 miles an hour, I'm going 30, I'm safe to take this turn with this much load. I am. That much? I know. And any second now, we're gonna see the right-handed turn I need to make. is my speed limit. 30 is what I'm going. We are good. We hold this. After that, it's smooth sailing until we need to make another right and then another left. Holding that speed limit a little hard there, man. Maybe we slow it down a little. Is what I would say if we weren't supposed to floor it and go 60. Pedal to the metal, brother! We're gonna get that money, we're gonna get that bonus, chat! Boy, oh boy, I sure hope it doesn't ask me to make any fast stops because I'm building speed from all the momentum. Wow. What a beautiful place. Going the exact speed limit. Holding it perfectly. Like it's nothing. Nothing but beautiful vistas and a turn that is totally going to fucking kill me. That is a really sharp fucking turn. For 60. Are we sure? Uh. Okay. Uh, well, we're fine. We're fine. This is fine. Yeah, we'll stay around 50, 55. I mean, we're hauling. What's my next turn? Right then left. And we're there. I mean, we're gonna get there fast. Chat, we're gonna- we're gonna make good time on this mission. Unless, you know, we fly off the fucking rails right now because these turns aren't accurate to what the speed is actually telling me. Sometimes when we make these turns, I hear a horrible wail from the engine. It's like, I'm not really sure why. Okay, we're taking this right. We're cruising at a nice speed for this. I don't want to go too fast on these turns. Already all set. Set to go 60. We accelerate again. Floor it. 
Floor the train forward. We have to deliver these boxes in time. If we're not ready to push it to the metal to deliver these goddamn empty boxes to GF station, then what the hell's the goddamn point? Let's go! Those orphans need boxes. Wait, which way am I going now? Hang on. Uh, next we're going, uh, left. Oh, fuck! Change the world! God, he's good. He's holding 60 at the exact speed he's supposed to, and he's just been told to go even faster, mother of God! It's a straightaway rate to GF now, Chad! Pick up the speed! The engine roars! Oh yeah. We're gonna get there in time. This train's going as fast as it can go, dude. Seven. Already there, man. Matter of fact, not even there. I'm not even going as fast as the game suggests I should. Think about it. supposed to deliver this shit too. So I'm just gonna need a second. E5 I. All these are B. Hang on. Oh, fuck you. What the fuck is this shit? What is this shit? Where are you hauling me to? God damn it. Whatever. All right, fine. Well, I'm not really... I, I feel like I, I, I'm i not really sure if I'm going to have space to, like, uh, reverse this crap into the right... Eh, it's probably fine. We'll reverse it. All right, I'll go through B, down, forward, then reverse it into D and drop it. Right? It's easy. Right? Although... It'd be easier to go through C around, less turns for me if I go through C obnoxiously and then stop at D. I'm gonna go through C. It's more convenient for me, the guy driving the car. I mean, train. Less turns. Straightforward. Floor it. Explode the train. Really explode the train. Go on now. Whoa! Chill. Damn, it takes a train a long time to heat up. I mean, start up. Chill, you're fine. I'm gonna let everyone know I'm here. Uses me. That part right there. I don't know what the difference between those two lines are. Let's cut the acceleration. 
Doesn't seem like there is any. Go through no matter what we're going around. Okay. Hey everyone. Hey everyone, wake up. Wake up. Wake up everyone. Come on now. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. Wow. What a lovely place. I mean, actually it's kind of a shithole when I really look at it carefully. The faster we get out of here, the better. Accelerate the train. I feel like I'm in a fucking DayZ area, dude. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to get shot by someone in DayZ, and then they're gonna take all my loot. They're gonna scamper away back, and there's gonna be someone wearing like a fucking bike helmet that's just gonna blast me. Am I going in here? D, but yeah, which part? D5I. Hopefully, this is already preset to let me right through this one. Wait, this is D. Okay. So, 5I is over there, so I want to take that and that. And then I'm in. Alright. I literally aligned myself while going straight in. Dude, I'm getting good, man. E5I, drop it off for good. All right. Easy. Who's here? Who's ready to get their boxes? <laughs> Who wants to have a box? I brought a bunch of them. Everyone, wake up! Everyone, wake up! He's here! I've eyeballed all of these different things, and this tells me that I am 100% safe to uh, do whatever I want and drop this off. So, uh, handbrake on. On that. Good. Pull this out. Yep. Yaha. Uh Yaha. -huh. Uh -huh. And good. Now, I'm gonna pull this, uh, forward, just cause, uh, it makes me feel like I'm, uh, doing the right thing. And... there it is. Yeah, now I'm just gonna kinda... drop this off wasn't me don't know who did that it wasn't me 2k well spent <laughs> another 2k well spent it's coming back no it ain't Where is the, uh, where is the... God, it's a mile away. Actually, no, it's not. It just looks like it's much farther away than it is. 
Here we are. Let's drop off the job. The derail deviant strikes again. Work order validator. Validated. Completed. Another easy job completed by me. Tomato gaming. Give me my money. God damn it. And now? Pfft. Yeah, I'm not paying that. Bye bye. If I don't ever pay it, well, I don't ever have to pay it. Isn't that cool? Chad, you want to do something funny? I'm gonna get in sandbox. I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna do a derailment. I'm gonna do a real one. I'm gonna get some hazardous. I don't know. Like I'm gonna load up a bunch of fucking, bunch of tankers with gasoline. I'm gonna fucking derail it. Let's do a hat. You guys want to do a silly little hazmat derail? In the middle of a death storm? Default scenario two, sure. It's gonna be fucking wet. It's gonna be raining. There's gonna be lightning. The starting weather duration is gonna be infinite. It's gonna be cloudy. It's gonna be foggy. And this train? Apparently I can only pick Uh, a starting train, unless I- oh. How do I- New train. Now, what this train is going to be is, uh... What the- <laughs> So, I'm gonna be carrying a nuclear flask. I'm also going to be carrying, uh, see another, <laughs> carrying some passengers, uh, sandwiched between another nuclear flask, <laughs> sandwiched by a, a delicious, uh, a refrigerator full of, I don't know, um, me, uh, no, d uh, milk. Spent nuclear fuel. Oh my god. And uh, this is gonna be a uh, box car full of obviously pigs. <laughs> the cows that made the milk. And uh, after that, we're gonna add another car. There's a lot of cows. A lot of cows on this one. And then after that, we're gonna add another car. And it's gonna be full of... Uh, Military grade bombs. <laughs> and that happens for a while. And then it's back to, uh, then it's back to flatbeds. But those flatbeds are, well, full of, um, uh, chemicals and a lot of them. A lot of them, actually. Uh, a lot of chemicals. Followed by... Some... <laughs> pure argon! <laughs> and that goes for a little while, uh, as well. We're carrying a lot of argon on this one. And that goes for a little bit. And then we're gonna have some nitrogen as well. And, uh... Then it gets pretty cool again for a little bit. That is to say, what's in a gondola? Oh, just scrap metal? Hopper, what's in a hopper? Coal, wheat, corn, all boring things. And then uh, we just kind of fill up the rest with nuclear flasks. <laughs> a hand car. I'm thinking we're gonna need another couple of uh, trains. All of this is drawn by a collection of hand cars. <laughs> now, all of this here is drawn by a collection of locomotive hand cars. <laughs> Let's get in there. 
Start. Begin. This is no way this train moves. OSHA actually doesn't have any, uh, they don't have any power over this is the thing because, um, they're only, they really only have a say when it comes to a lot like actual motorized vehicles, but this is <laughs> Thank God there's no real living people on this train. Isn't there a bunch of cows in here? Whoa, oh, I can max tell I can max distance teleport now. Nice. Well, chat, let's get this train to moving. Ain't no way it just moved at all. Wait. No. All right, fine. I'll kick it up a notch. Sessions. Trash that one. New one. Good news is, I've saved this scenario. And I'm gonna edit it. Obviously these hand cars aren't gonna work, but you know what will. Chat, what's the strongest kind of car? Is it a DH4? Is it the DH4s? DE6. Copy that. I don't see DE6. I see DE2. I see DH4. DM3. Huh. Haven't unlocked it. You'd think they'd give me it in the editor. Well, DH4 is the next best. If I, I'm gonna have to turn on all of these to actually make this work, aren't I? Look, there's no way these can't pull this much. This is gonna be fine. I mean, I don't know how to turn on a DH4, but like, I'll figure it out. Dead of night. Let's fucking get it. Let's get it, dude. It's probably fine with three. Yeah, but I want to make sure this train go fast before we all die. Before I make a hazmat moment. Yes. Thankfully, it's telling me how to turn this car on, or the train, once I find the way in. Alright, hit the lights. Cab light, thank god, I can finally see. The rapture is coming. The end of days. Ah. Wipers on. Gotta be able to see. Turn light on. Gotta be able to see. Rear lights on. Wanna be able to see. Starter. Initialize. Monitor until bar two. You know it. Gently apply throttle. Yes. Fully disengaged throttle, okay? Yeah, I know how brakes work. Ah, I see the handbrakes are all off. I gotta get all these handbrakes off, chat. We've got a handbrake on every single... Dude, shut the fuck up. I don't need that. The front handbrake. Dude, shut the fuck up. 
forward. Go on now. I do not believe... Holy shit, we're actually already getting some movement. I didn't think that would work that fast. Okay, well. You're gonna help me. Next train. Dude, shut the fuck up! I don't need a tutorial on this. You're bothering me. Now you're pissing me off. Yeah, I'm already at it. I'm already at my desired output. Stop telling me. There. We're not wheel slipping. Oh my god. Are we good? Are we done? Speed on, okay? Train break. I know how this works. Yep, set to- Oh my god. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I know how the- I cannot believe it's teaching me all this again. I cannot fucking believe it's telling me how to honk the horn. Oh, we got a bell too? Fun. And now it's telling me what- Fuck off, okay? Go fuck yourself next time, how about that? Piece of shit. Trying to cause a nuclear disaster. What the fuck do you want from me? You know how hard it is to build this much momentum? I feel like my dude left the dynamic brake on because he was taught to. The dynamic brake is on, isn't it? Fuck you. <laughs> this goddamn tutorial telling me how to do all this shit. Making it a thousand times harder for me to cause a fucking environmental disaster. Or was it off? This thing was moving. Once. You can do it. You can push. You just gotta keep sanding it. We are gaining speed, it's just we gotta take it slow at the start. We're moving. We're moving. I said take it slow. All right, that one's starting to move. I'm gonna get the next one on. Same deal as last time. Open up. Electrics on. Starter. Cap. Lights on. Let it juice up to bar two. Forward as well. Yes. Yes. This train's moving, brothers! This train's moving! Faster. I need it to go faster. Next train. Next train. Next train. Cabin. On. Starter, on. Fill up the bar. Accelerate. Do these sink their throttle? Because I feel like it's somehow th like sinking the throttle already on all these. I don't know why. I don't know why this one's throttle was already pulled. It sinks throttle. That's awesome. Now we're cooking, chat! This train is gonna move! God's pissed, but he can't stop us, not now. On.
We ride. Those cows are fucked. These cows aren't gonna make it. On. Where the hell are we? What the? Sure hope this place was smart enough to leave all these trains aligned in the right way. Because by God, if they weren't... We're really gonna crash into something around all these freaking tankers. That would have been bad. That would have been the moment, the bad moment. Well, I got more trains to turn on. How fast are we going anyways? Damn! All right, this is my next one. Gotta turn this one on. Thank God there's been no turns or else we'd be in a lot of trouble. All right, next train, this one. Thankfully, now that it's all already set, I can just go in, hold the starter, and it just turns them all on now. No problem. Holy shit. Dude, I can just sit in the passenger. Hang on, I'm just gonna hit the throttle. We just watch now. Oops. Bad weather today. Uh. What's that sound? Why are you slowing? What's wrong? Oh, I pushed it too hard. I think I pushed him too hard. No. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up! I want to cause an environmental disaster! Is one of these individually causing the problem? Alright, take off the throttle. Let this bar go back down. Once it has, we'll move it all back up. Why is the brake pipe blinking? Something's like making it break. Did a handbrake activate somewhere? Why the fuck would that be happening? There's totally a handbrake active. Damn, so that's how it happens. Uh, the train operator may not even know their train is derailed until it's far too late. The cows! The cows! No, dude! No! The cows! <laughs> okay, so maybe we do something a little bit smaller scale. Maybe that was a little too long. That was a little too ambitious. Yeah? Sandbox, default scenario, new scenario, new scenario. Horrible, terrible, awful, 
bad bad no fog no clouds it's a storm with nothing in it Uh, no, new train. I need a new train. Or actually, I guess we can just... Wait, diesel and tanks? No, new train. Fresh... Fresh train. Just a clean one. A smile on its face. We're gonna grab a S282B. And all we're gonna be moving on it is well gas specifically sodium hydroxide and crude oil and diesel and gasoline and yes gas yes and crude oil and maybe a little bit more no 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 cancel cancel i need more trains i need to add another one we're going to add Wait a minute, get rid of that. Wait, move this. Boxcar, no, 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 no. This one. Tank. We're gonna fill this up with some ammonia. And then... Some more sodium hydroxide. Now what I've made here is a silly train that's going to blow up. And that's exactly what I want. Save, lock it in, play it. I'm going to environmental disaster someplace. Here we go. I'm making Orlando myself. That's right. Holy shit. God is mad. It's going to tell me how to do the tutorial for the whole fucking place again, isn't it? Did I have an option to tick that off in the sandbox settings? I just didn't. I don't think I saw one. Mother of God. I might need a tutorial to turn this on though. Where the hell's my load? Isn't there supposed to be a train attached to this? No, I put... No, I put a train attached to that, dude. No, 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 no. I had it saved. Reset it. Start. It was this one. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. S20, S28 2B. That's a train. We'll use the DH4 again. It'll get the job done. Go, 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 go. This is it. The big one. Thankfully, this train is really easy to start, which I like. Chat, this is a great train. Starts fast. Starts good. E-brake is conveniently already off. You'd think that wouldn't be the case, but it is. How's that horn sound once I get this thing all turned on? Where that horn at? Yeah, that's about a sound that I feel like should be on the whole time, honestly. Weak horn. People aren't even gonna know they're in danger when this thing comes tearing towards them. Which it will be. 
right fucking now. Come on, guys. There's no, there's no fucking break on. What is that? What is this? Damn, I should have followed the tutorial. Sander, on. I mean, I'll check all the sides. I don't know why off. 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 There's something totally breaking it. Why would it be the back one? Why? Why the... It never does the rear. Alright, let's go. Now we ride. I have no idea where we're going, but these dry lightning geostorms are getting crazy. Our only chance is to get the hell out of here once and for all. I'm gonna take us up to 90 kilometers an hour. We're gonna get all this gas and ammonia and nitrogen to those needy orphans. We're kind of just like Balta, but for gas and nitrogen, and sodium hydroxide. If any lightning strikes this container, we're fucking dead, chat. We're gonna die. That'll be the end of the line. Speed limit 10. Never tell me the rules or the speed. Accelerate. Speed limit 10? Why, dude? It's not even that bad of a turn. And I'm sanding. Oh, wait, that means 100. True. Maximum. Floor the vehicle. Cut the sand. We don't need it. Oh, we're going downhill, huh? Damn, this is really gonna- This is gonna really make this a dangerous trip, chat. I'm gonna cut the cabin lights. I don't need them. I can see just fine in this geostorm. 70. Inbound. Those kids need this goddamn hydrogen. They need it now. We're pushing on 80! Damn, we're good. 90 coming in! Sanders! Activated! Keep the traction up! Whoa. Hold! 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 I lived. Oh no. Thank God, we didn't land it. Oh, we landed right towards a water sup. Oh no. Well, thank God, most of it is burning up into the atmosphere. Thank goodness, it's all submerging right into this water and dispersing itself into the atmosphere. Those two places are very well known for 
just snacking on chemicals and getting rid of them nice and clean like. This should be fine. Hey, is this ever gonna go out? I'm in so much trouble. Hang on, I'm just gonna put- I'm just gonna plug it up with my finger. Oh, it stopped! It stopped when I yelled at it. Nice. Fun time. Cool game. Fun time. Did a little environmental oopsie. But hey, what can you do, man? I can't control everything. I do have to go into hiding though. I exit. This is bad. It's bad. Uh, anyway, so chat, uh, Brett's live now. So I'm gonna be sending you guys over there because in 25 minutes I'm gonna be doing session zero of a really hardcore D&D nightmare run we're gonna be doing. So uh, I'll send you guys over there. Cause yeah, I'll see you again in 25 minutes, okay? Should be a good time. Get excited, chat. Get excited. Should be fun. I'll see you all. Uh, might do a stream tomorrow. Maybe. If not, I'll see you Monday. Keep your eyes peeled. See you then. Thanks for coming on by. Have a good one. Laters.